Okay, we should be streaming now. Uh, oh, we don't have any viewers right now because it's not announced yet. But for those who are checking video on demand or on YouTube later on, uh, so this is a live stream to showcase the games uh, from Indie Game Maker Contest 2017. There was this uh, RPG Maker Contest for you to make a game uh, in one month using uh, RPG Maker. And I did a game for it, uh, which was uh, very cool, very fun to do. My first game, uh, well, my first RPG, not my first game, but I've been meaning to do RPGs for a very long time. Finally, uh, came around to do it. It's called Joseph of Decentia, so you can go and check it uh, here, right on the page. You can probably find it. If I wasn't screwing up uh, on OBS instead, sorry about that. Uh, wrong focus. So if you search on the page, Joseph of Decentia, here it is. This is my game. Um. So yeah, so the point is of this stream is that we go over all this list of games, flag a couple of ones that are that seem uh, cool. Uh, there are 249 games right now available. So I'm going to go over a few of them. Um, I announced it previously on uh, on the chat on the Discord uh, that I was going to do this stream. So some people already recommended a few games, or their own games for me to check, so I have already four uh, planned to check out today, which I will do as soon as it's uh, closer to the stream hour. Uh, right now we're just killing time, still uh, 10 more minutes until the stream officially starts. I'm going to actually announce it on Discord. Um, hope I'm not posting on uh, wrong channels, but I think I should be okay. Um, Yeah, not many people here. I think from the announcement they will start popping up. And I did start the stream a little bit earlier, just uh, you know, to test if everything is okay. So I'm hoping a few more other guys show up. If they don't, I think it's fine. You know, I just I will play some games and uh, check how good they are. So that should be fine. Uh, if there's any game in particular you would like me to check. That's also available. Uh, we have four listed right now, or four requested. And I'm waiting for more people to show up on the stream to go over the whole list and, I don't know, talk a little bit about uh, the thumbnails at least. Which ones appeal to me on first, first sight. You reply. Okay, so Talnos is Fenric's shield. Okay, I'll I'll call you up now, I guess, uh, so you can join the stream. I hope Discord voice works. Hello, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing? It sounds good. Um, uh, am are we getting feedback here? Uh, yeah. Probably on your end, you need to mute uh, the Twitch, so you only see the... I yeah. will find a set of earphones then. Uh, that is also useful, but I mean, you'll mostly hear what I'm saying, so uh, <laughs> it doesn't really change much. But headphones is good. So, 
let's hope more people join up. Still uh, five more minutes to go. I guess I'm gonna announce on Twitch again or Twitter that I'm doing this because there is this hashtag on uh, on Twitter about the IGMC. Did. Should help get a few more hits. Three viewers. Three viewers is better than no viewer. So welcome to other viewers. We're still killing a, killing a little bit of time till we start. And we should have Talanos on the line sometime soon. He went to grab his headphones. And he's currently muted. He should be back now. Okay, um, I've got my headphones and the feedback is coming from the fact that audio is coming through both Discord and Twitch. Oh. Uh, hmm. So am I being the one that's sending you the, the sound? Uh, yeah, is there any way to mute your sound coming from Discord so I can just watch you on Twitch instead? Um, I could, but then you'll be a little bit lagged. Oh so yeah, that's true. Um, the, I, I, it's ideally you should mute uh, Twitch, and that's easy to do. Just click the amplifier icon thing. Yep, done. Okay, so okay. Uh, my video will be a little delayed, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yep. Uh, Still waiting for a few more people. We have four viewers right now, apparently. Feel free to say hi, guys. Don't be shy. And so while we wait, uh, tell us. So t tell me about your uh, experience participating on the IGMC. Was it like your first time or? Yes, this is my first time doing a game jam at all. Um, I've worked with uh, the animation department at my university in order to put together some games in the past, but none on so short a uh, budget or a time constraint. It was a great experience just being able to work on something start to finish in a single month that really helped focus and motivate. Also, I think it's easier to keep it in scope if you've got a month. If you've got a year, yeah. you think, well, we've got time to add all of these features, but <laughs> not if it's just a month. Yeah, if it's just a month, you, you keep it short, keep it simple, keep it achievable, and that's that's a lot more interesting and or gives out better results, at least in the end. Uh, they're asking who is talking. It's it's Talanos from the game. What is the name of your game? Final Winter. Final I'm Winter. Gonna, I'm going to open it right now. It's this game. I don't know if I should show the game page or the IG or the um, or the G IGMC voting page. Did you understand how the voting works? Because the voting is like you just check the checkbox. Seems box. sort of cloak and dagger to me. I, I'm not exactly sure how the voting works. So like either you vote for it or you don't vote for it. Uh, so I don't know. What if you vote for everything, like all the games, then your vote just doesn't count? So I don't know. It's a bit strange. But... Uh, now, Nelderson on the chat is saying that it's like a plus one. Okay, I guess mm -hmm. that makes a little bit of sense. Um, okay, so we have a few more people now, and it is uh, the hour that was originally announced. So let's take a look at uh, the list of games. Uh, tell me, uh, tell us, did you check the list of the games at all, or were you just too busy doing your own game? Um, not until after one o'clock in the morning last night. <laughs> then we wanted to get a good look at the competition. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here, and a lot of it looks like it could be really good, but, I mean, it's hard to judge a book by its cover, and it yeah. all depends on whether or not the gameplay loop is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very, I mean, from the screenshots, there are a lot of good-looking stuff. Uh, I was expecting to have a lot more, you know, of the typical RPG Maker things that feels... Uh, very unfinished or without artwork, but I guess that it makes sense on a jam that uh, people with uh, 
more artistic skills get involved and try to to do things so i'm i'm happily surprised that uh, some of the at least artwork from the thumbnails looks pretty good i'm uh, just scrolling through some of the lists i think i see corrupted world twice let me check oh no it's just the same background okay that makes sense So a lot of games, 249, I believe. Which is like 150 less than they were expecting, surprisingly, so... They were expecting like half from last year. I heard two years ago there were 600, and then last year there was no competition. So that's why uh, it decreased. That could be. Mm. Okay, just checking the list. I, I have no clue. I'm glad that I asked for submissions and for people to like uh, suggest me things to play on the stream because it's impossible to check through 250 games. I have no clue how the juries are going to do that. I think I will. So I've just... been a fly in the wall in the uh, competition channel. The way that they're going to do it is that they're going to split the games into four groups, and each mm -hmm. judge is going to get a single group and judge everything in that group. Then they're okay. going to take like the top thirty percent and then pass them on to another judge who's going to take mm. the top thirty percent of those, and so only a very few will get to see all four judges. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, because it will be impossible to do two hundred and fifty games. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll take a look at your game first, since you are here. Uh, I invited some of the other creators of the other games that were suggested to join me on the call as well. Uh, I don't know if they're on, if they are on, and they would like to, you know, commentate already while we are uh, playing a uh, Talonos game. Feel free to ping me about it. So let's take a look at Final Winter. So Final Winter, I have the game here. Let me see if I can get it working on. Windows protected your PC. Well, thank you for protecting my PC, Windows. <laughs> I would rather you wouldn't, but okay. Um, let me check if I can put this on OBS properly. I know there's a trick. Hold on. Uh, not this. I want to hide this. Okay, so it is correct. And it's already maximized. Okay. So, let's play new game, I guess. This game is best played with a controller, but if you use a, a keyboard instead, if you'd like... Uh, well, I do have a controller, so I guess I can try to use the controller. Does it auto-detect, or do I need to relaunch? It does not auto-detect, unfortunately. Okay, let me close and open again, then. See if everything is still okay on OBS. Yep, yeah, seems to. Okay. Well, it's working with the controller, so plus one point to your development crew. So how many people were in your in your group? Total of eight. Two were commissioned, uh, a title screen commission and a music commission, and then another two very supportive spouses that came in at the last minute in order to help <laughs> with some stuff. Um, and then four core members. Okay. Go on, you said you were brave. I am! Your parents say we shouldn't go into that hole. You should never go into holes, that's common knowledge. You don't have to go, you just have to touch the wall. Or are you backing out? Okay. I feel like she's tricking Hans. The wall opened. If even a finger of yours passes through that crack, then... What? How? Uncle Barley? It can't be. I didn't go inside. Did he got caught in a curse or something? Uh, well, there are some questions in the in the chat uh, for you. What roles did you have uh, set up? Uh, um, I was the producer asking. and also the design lead. Um, we had one other person who was the writing lead and sort of guided the uh, writing direction. Somebody else who did a lot of programming. Somebody else that did a lot of mapping. How much of the original uh, stuff from RPG Maker do you have? Like, did you draw all original graphics and uh, scripts? No, plugins? almost everything is stock. Um, okay. All of the graphics, aside from some of the generated parts from the character generator, they're, they're all stock. All of the music, except for about 30 seconds of it, is entirely new, though, which is nice. 
yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I'm originally a musician, so when I was doing the game, I thought I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the music for the whole game, and then I just ended up using the stock uh, sound and just using the same sound throughout the whole game instead of actually doing original music because I was mm -hmm. just lazy. So props for for doing for getting original music for the stuff. Well, we actually needed a musician because the stock music wouldn't have worked for our gameplay loop. Um, when you get to the combat system, you'll see that the combats are supposed to be very short and they don't break immersion. It's not supposed to feel like you transition to a different scene and then transition back. So we needed a musician who was able to create uh, two soundtracks that could be layered over each other, like a base dungeon exploration track and then like another set of drums or something like that that could be played over the top of it that could fade in and out without breaking the main uh, structure of the music. Mm -hmm. I see. Village Elder says, take this with you. I received a bag of sending. Whatever you put into this bag will appear in the chest we have placed by the cave entrance. Well, that's convenient. If you find anything you think might help us lift the curse, put it in the bag and we can examine it. Well, that will save a lot of traveling back and forth. Don't intend to fail. But if I did, wouldn't you lose the bag? We would just take the bag out of the chest. Okay. What's that? And now the curse got Douglas. I have 10 minutes. Is it like real 10 minutes? Yep. Okay. So uh, so I guess this playthrough will be 10 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's enough time to save it down. Yeah, it should be. Let's fight the monster. Battles play quickly and automatically. Press A at the right time when attacking to deal extra damage. Press A at the right time when defending to reduce damage. Okay. So it's all just press A. That's a nice system. Did you come up with that, or was that like a plugin that you used? Uh, we, a combination, we're horribly abusing Yonfly's script. That thing is actually done entirely using action sequences. Okay, uh, I don't need the dagger, because the dagger is lower than the sword. I'm gonna die. Kill the bat. Shit, missed. Okay. Um, my sword is still better. Why do you keep giving me equipment that is worse than mine? I just oh, a hatchet. Is it like uh, automatic or random? The equipment yep, that you get. Random. Okay. like I should have practiced more Dance Dance Revolution before playing this. Yeah, we've actually seen in our playtesters that there's a distinct difference between those who have played rhythm games and those who haven't. Yeah. That actually, Atlas, was the entire um, when we this, the first thing we needed to do is figure out how we were going to deal with the god-awful default RPG Maker combat uh, scene. Because it, it's not fun to just like mash attack over and over and then watch elaborately scripted cutscenes. Like, I mean, anybody who's played Final Fantasy knows the horror of having to use nice over and over again. So, when we thought, how are we going to do our game? We thought the first thing that we need to do is make combat. And pressing a button in the correct timing uses something to do while the combat is going on. We spent a lot of time putting together custom scripts in order to try and keep the transition to and from combat as short as possible. Um, especially because our game has sort of a time attack feel to it. You don't want to spend a whole lot of time going in and out of combat scenes. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the game sound is a little loud, so when you speak, it doesn't really hear very well. So I, I'm just letting you know. Okay, the equipment is better. Like this. But yeah, I, I like the concept, and the, and the, um, the game so far seems good. Uh, I'm I'm already seven minutes down, so I, I need to hurry. Not 
fight that. Uh, I guess I should avoid fighting when I can because it takes time. Also, I'm almost dead. Well, you do have that uh, rest button. Yeah, yeah, I used it several times already. So the game is actually shorter than 10 minutes. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to save the, the village. Screw you, village. Okay, 60 health. Does this open? I have So I'm not nothing. sure who Frog Boy is, but this game was made by Talanos and the rest of his design team. I got the save point, I guess. Oh wow. Okay. We thought that that was intuitive, but write that down. That wasn't a save point, that was uh, extra health. Oh, okay. I didn't pay enough attention to see the bar. Uh, I don't want to fight that. Health, sure, let's go. I only have three minutes left. Ah, oh, get away from me, son. Or slime, or whatever you are. So the person playing is uh, PS. Yeah, well, just PS. Yeah, uh, PS or PS enough. Uh, and the person you can't see is the person who developed this game, Talanos. Yeah. Shit. Bad attack. Bad attack again. Three minutes. Yeah. Oh crap, I ran into another bat. Yeah, it's a little bit too loud the game. I don't know how to change it right now. And actually it's okay, if I pay if I pause, I have a setting that says music. So this is useful. I'm gonna lower the sound effects so we can actually um forty percent should be okay. Yeah, okay, so now now it's back. So I guess uh, B should go back to the game. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, I have to go back? Oh, crap. Come on. good uh sure i'll equip the health charm uh fire guys that that's yeah that's not good another fire guy i do like the fighting system it, it makes a lot of sense i mean it really cuts down a lot of the um, of the time you do you usually just you know grind and hit hit fire four times with you some seconds hit fire four times to be fair most of the time you just mash either attack or your best skill anyway so this is just taking it and condensing it into a shorter less less tedious time yeah uh, i almost ran away from him but this is like a dead end Oh, the, oh, there's a passage here. Okay, that didn't look like a passage at first. Giant guy! I guess this is the boss. So how much did you play test your game? 
Oh, the last day we just play tested for like six hours straight, three of us in a room, just, you know, constantly writing down issues and trying to solve them as soon as they came up. Okay. Thank you. Do not give up. There is more ahead. There's more ahead? I only have one minute left. <laughs> Gain the power of ice. Use Y to use the elements ability. Learn something something. Okay. Uh, I, can, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Uh, sad. Well, sad day. It was paused during that cutscene because that's the reaction the playtesters had. I can't read the tutorial. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Oh, if I use the shield dash, I would have passed these guys. Oh, oh, well, now I know the knowledge, but I still went into them. And I'm about to die if I'm not careful. So. Sh there. Crap. There were two guys. I didn't save. But I thought I was the hero. Yeah, I'm Douglas <laughs> Hero. I'm supposed to be the hero. Crap. Was there, like, how much further was I? How close was I to the end? I, I'd keep playing for another five minutes and see. But there's only 20 seconds on my clock. Oh, the, the story continues. Continues. All is lost. We've got to get out of here. Perhaps it's not lost forever. Perhaps the curse just took him somewhere? Hmm. It's my duty to ensure the town is safe. I'll stay with you, father. If you're willing to brave the curse, I will too. Okay, let's all stay and die a horrible death. What kind of horrible death are they going to die? Is it like the... Uh, they come from the void and just take everyone to shreds? It's called Last Wis... I mean, Final Winter, yeah. Final Winter, okay. So it's like, it, is it Game of Thrones influenced? No, I've actually never seen that show. Okay. That's why you don't have dragons. That explains it. <laughs> Camp here. Save any so are they running or are they staying? They were talking about staying, but now the guy is talking about leaving. Seeing the curse has been suffused with magic. What's is this a real verb? Suffused? Yes. Okay. When one of us is cursed, that person also gains access to the power of ice. Why would a curse do such a thing? Perhaps there's more to this curse than we know. Maybe it's a blessing. Passively imbue attacks with ice during battles. You will do more damage for a total of mana, even more damage to enemies that may freeze, such as those slimes. Okay. Okay, so that was just like the intro to the game. There's still... Uh... Yeah. Okay. I think some people might quit when they lose. You might want to inform that a bit more clearly. Makes Just sense. Saying. I will write that down on my list of feedback. Okay, save the game. Okay. Uh, continue. Uh, it's B to continue, okay. So, let's talk with people, I guess. I'm sure Sir Meister will save us eventually. I would charge into that cave right now, but someone needs to keep an eye on that cultist. Yeah. I have so that problem. So, we're talking all the time. about what sorts of uh, influences uh, were on this game. One of the biggest influences was the uh, roguelike genre. In mm. roguelikes, very often you play as far as you can, and then your person dies a horrible death, and then you try again with the next guy. We wanted to make something that felt sort of like a roguelike, in which you were trying to do the same thing, but better and better each time. Mm. 
but we also wanted to make it so that you could keep some things between runs. So the, the concept of this game is that every time you go in, you go in as a different person. You start as the hero, who basically has no chance or hope of beating the game, and then you start going through as all of the random people from the town, um, trying to do better than the previous person went, and uh, anytime you find treasure that might be useful for the next person, you put it in the bag so that they can have it. So, and like the, the, the treasure gives you special abilities that will keep you, you know, safer from or will make you advance further in the in the dungeon. Exactly. Um, you didn't able. I mean, you weren't able to use the shield dash before dying, but that shield mm -hmm. dash is a way of going through the dungeon more quickly than you were earlier. And you keep getting more and more of these abilities until eventually those first two levels that you went through, you can get through those first two levels in 30 seconds flat by the time okay. you have all the abilities. Okay. So how much is your playtime overall of the game? Um, depends on who's playing it uh i've seen people beat it within an hour and 40 minutes or so but those are people who have play tested so they're very familiar with the game mm -hmm. okay uh i think i should try another run just to see how far i go and uh yeah go I for can... it uh, should i go to sleep or continue looking around i think it's go to sleep right go ahead and go to sleep yeah So yeah, Atlas Atrium is saying on the on the chat that it's a long game. Yeah, it's it's. We were very lucky that we got it done. Actually, I'd have cut out uh, probably the last three floors if we were to do it again because we were really stretching ourselves thin at the end there. The weapons. Where did I put the weapons? I like so this I scene because it shows that you're playing as everybody. Last time you were the hero, now you're the maid. I'm Sarah. Sarah the maid. Should I wear a warm jacket, cloth armor, hide wrappings, or leather armor? I, I want the leather armor. All maids should wear leather armor. Everybody knows that. It's common knowledge. Uh, start run. I could have just clicked optimize and it would have done this for me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, start run. Okay, let's go! Uh, uh, dance Dance Revolution! Uh, so the skip dash jumps over the... the spikes? Nope. Um, it just shoots you in a direction very far. Shoots you in the direction very far, okay. I can live with that. Kira uh, Makirison, I love it. That That's exactly what we were going for, yes. Uh, but I hit Y and it didn't shoot me in the direction. You don't have ice equipped. Uh, use your left and right bumper buttons while out of combat in order to shift which element you're on. Oh, okay. So that's not very intuitive. Uh, yeah, it was in the cutscene that you skipped because you were nervous about your time. That's why ah. we paused it for that cutscene. Okay. I guess I can jump. And I run into a toad. Okay. Uh, uh, eh, uh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Dagger, uh, no, I don't need a dagger. Ah! Get away from me, frog. Well, it looks like a frog, but it's more like a slimer. Yeah, originally they were blue, like the stock assets for RPG Maker were, but uh, people were confused as to why ice was effective against the blue slimes, because they thought that blue meant that they were icy. So we changed him to green because it would make more sense that the slimes would get frozen by the ice blade if they were green instead of blue. I guess that makes sense. Did make him look a lot like frogs, though. <laughs> and... Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. Not a frog. Or Slimer. Do they have names? Are they like Bob? I haven't written backstories for the slimes, no. Ugh. 
You guys I mean, are if you so, want, I could such, write it down such on amateurs. The list of <laughs> They don't. They don't even have backstories for the for the slimes. <laughs> and now I have to fight four spiders. Come on. Uh, and the frog. Run, run. Okay. Nope. Uh, I guess I should go here. Get some <laughs> stuff. Yeah, Bob had a short life. He had it coming, though. Crap! I dashed, but... Dashing into a wall isn't very useful. Ah, come on! No, I'm just being stupid. Okay, I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna start playing properly. Sorry, guys. There we go. <laughs> he ran... He came after me. Uh... Okay, okay, good. Uh... I have to do the spiders, at least. Although, now that you've got the dash, this uh, switch puzzle is a lot easier, because you could just dash from one side of the room all the way to the other. What if I hit the bats? It's a shield dash. If you hit the bats, you're immune to the bats until the dash wears off. Uh, it doesn't go all the way to the other side of the room. You tricked me! Gets you a lot closer, though. Yeah. Oof. I don't know how that happened, but okay, I'm good. Okay. This is red crystals. Ah. Come on. I like those effective hits. That was one thing that was tricky in terms of the monster design, is that we wanted to make sure that everything that you got uh, from the boss, the elemental powers, were effective against the monsters that led up to the boss. Which is tricky, because that means that the people in the ice area should be weak to ice, which is somewhat counterintuitive. Yeah. Um, these fire guys here is like sort of what we were trying to do in order to make that happen. We gave them their own special room. Same thing with the slimes that you freeze with the ice power. Wouldn't it have been easier to just um, don't use Ice Town to start with? Like, change it to a Sand Town? Just saying. Like, we could have done that, but uh, there are four different traversal abilities that you get. There's the Shield Dash, and then later on you can get like a Camouflage and a Smoke Form that lets you pass over spikes, and a, a Jump that lets you jump over small gaps. So when we had those, we... Oh, you missed the yellow chest. Sad day. Um, but when we had those, we were trying to associate each one of these traversal abilities with an elemental power, and ice fit with the shield dash the best, and we knew that we wanted shield dash to be the first ability that you got. So, yeah, it had to be Ice Town first up. Okay. Oh, there are... So by that logic, there are other towns? Is that it? No. Nope. Or... No, just, uh... It made ice sense floor. to use... Okay. Okay. This was I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, I'm a little distracted because I'm trying to play it. That's time. why I'm trying to cut it for you. <laughs> <laughs> this map was a very interesting one to put together because uh, we wanted to show the players how useful the uh, shield dash could be. So in this place, there's a lot of long, straight places where you can gain a lot of time by just dashing down them. There are also yeah. a lot of enemies that move back and forth that you can shield dash past in order to prevent yourself from taking damage from them. Yeah. I noticed that you hit that switch at the end in order to keep the skeletons from coming after you, which is exactly what we were hoping the players would do. Yeah, I did that by accident, but I'm glad it worked. <laughs> So this next map that you're probably just about in, my, my video is a little delayed. Um, mm -hmm. This one, one of our programmers put together something that will randomly generate uh, the floor differently by raising or lowering bridges or rocks. Those bridges oh. that uh, you just crossed, uh, those ones aren't always there. Sometimes they're missing and that means that you need to go through the, this map a different way and those rocks can appear and disappear as well. Uh, I should equip this. That's very interesting. 
<laughs> Spear sent to town, good. Uh, yeah, I have to fight this. No, I like the game, it, it, it's pretty cool. I'm, I think I'm gonna finish it. Or try to finish it, at least. Not Sounds now good. on stream, because I don't. Th I think we should <laughs> go over You've got other games some... to go through, and I can yeah. understand that. But I'll, I'll, I'll save it and play it more later. Which I guess that's the point of a game, you know. Uh, you want the person to uh, keep playing. Where the hell is yeah. the exit? Uh, you passed it. It was up in the room in the skeletons, which in the north. Oh. Ah, not this corner. So by being generative, sometimes you, uh, yeah, okay. A procedural, I mean, not generative. Yep. No, we, we used a cool algorithm called Prim's algorithm in order to ensure that every one of those uh, cavern places was accessible from every other cavern place, as long as you didn't mind tapping around a bit. So you'll never uh, end up in a situation where you can't get to the next area. How did you make sure that all the people from the village know how to fight? Um, that we just sort of glossed over. There are a couple of scenes where you see uh, the old soldier archetype training some of the other people, like the butler, as to how to fight. Um, we've also got those crystals. Those crystals uh, are narratively used in order to explain why people can get powered up and things like that. Um, other than that, we just hope that the players don't mind. Uh, uh, I'm hitting right button ah because I'm out of time. Okay, so I can't regenerate anymore. Okay. Nope. Okay. Well, well, I'm not gonna die from getting killed. I'm gonna die by swishing effect thingy. How was I? What was I supposed to run results? Got to floor six. That's a lot better than floor four. So how many floors are there? There are a total of fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Yes. That's that's uh, that's good. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna play some more of this uh, later on. So that's thank you as for good that. a compliment as one could hope for. Thank you. <laughs> Twenty, and you have to do it before you run out of villagers, I guess. Yep. Okay. So can you save while you're in the dungeon, or only outside? You can only save outside. Okay, Once that you makes do a sense. run, you either have to take it and lock it in by saving again, or or try it again from the beginning. But makes that's sense. a ten-minute gameplay loop. You'll never lose more than ten minutes. Yeah, but you'll lose a guy if the run goes really bad. But I mm -hmm. guess that's the price you have to pay. You can't have everything. You can't have the cake and eat it. Uh, okay, so that was the <laughs> final winter. Uh, thank you, Talonos, and the rest of your team. That was a cool game. I like that. So Thank what? you so much. I'm going to head off the call now. Thank you for playing. Yep, thank you for joining us on the call. Um Bye. So, let's see what other games we have. I don't know if uh, there are any of the other people uh, on the chat that also were supposed to be reviewing the games. Uh, I wanted to play Understood, which I actually already played uh, by just just one witness. Let's see if she's around. Let me poke her on, on the call. Not on the call, on Discourse. Um, uh, so the games that we are going to cover today at least will be uh, understood well uh, uh, the winter what was the name already I forgot the name final winter final winter we already checked was the last game uh, was the previous game I mean I'm sorry uh, okay just one with us this year I'm gonna call you on discord if you would like to join us on the chat And the other games that we are going to check will be Adventures of Cherry Heart and The Totenmaske. So those are the four games we will check today. Maybe one more, depends uh, how we're feeling after all these games. Let's see if uh, Just One Witness picks up. I do have the game around somewhere already.
Okay. I'm trying to call just one witness, but uh, she's you're not picking up on uh, on Discord. There we go. Now you're in the call, but you're muted. So uh, you should probably unmute yourself. Pro tip right there. I uh, should be unmuted, but I can't hear you. Problem with Mike. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna get uh, the starting sequence going while we figure out technical details, so you guys can check and read. So it's the story of a female character, which uh, has a, a social problem of some sort, and well, you can read. She has a broken frown. Hello, Ozzy the One, welcome to the stream. We are going over some games. We just took a look at Final Winter, and now we are taking a look at Understood and hoping that uh, the developer will be able to join us. Figuring out uh, mic problems. But you should be able to join eventually. Uh, I'll go playing around a little bit. So you are this character, female character. And this is your village. And you can check books, how to make friends. It looks pre-worn. And empathy for dummies. That's also useful. How many games have I played? Only one so far. But uh, I think we will do more streams um, tomorrow probably to check out other games. Today we'll probably do like uh, four, maybe five. Depends how tired we will be after the games. So this is your home. You can walk around your home, check stuff. Oh, you can drink water. Let's see what's in the bookshelf here. The Joys of Basket Weaving. Who doesn't love a good read of The Joys of Basket Weaving? And some trap clothes, because it's important to have trap clothes. So, you can go outside. What was that? And... We have some people from Namek, some elves from Namek. Asking for people to stomp on mushrooms, or uh, minotaurs to stomp on mushrooms. Why are you so useless? Yeah, daddy. Just step on it. It's ugly. No, he's a responsible minotaur. He doesn't recklessly stomp on mushrooms. It's a mushroom. I didn't know they could walk and make that sound. Lunara the horse. And Bob just says Bob. Wow, Bob, that was inspiring. Uh, no, just admit this, I still can't hear you. But let me recall, maybe that will fix it. She's trying to get out and in again. Nope, still no sound. Uh, 
Okay, let's keep playing a little bit. See uh, if she can fix the mic issues. We, sh we are closer. Well, Bob, that was inspiring. I'm inspired. Franklin, what? And she laughs at the situation. Meanwhile, the mushroom is ruining all the food. And our stranger guy says nothing. You can't hurt that little cutie. Watch me. Medium darling, I'm afraid you are not taking this seriously. It's ruining our food. Yeah! Let's just get rid of it. Step on it now! Nope, she stole the mushroom. Medium, the mushroom stealer. I never heard about walking mushrooms in a book, so I don't know what book she's been reading. Clearly from an alternate universe. <laughs> He's gonna name him Dog. <laughs> dog the Mushroom. Okay, let's feed Dog the Mushroom. Yes. Wee -woo. This dog is now your pet. You'll have to take good care of him. The live mushrooms make the best pizza ingredients. <laughs> yep, so I have to feed dog. Let's walk around town. You have some arrows pointing in the map, that's useful. So you can see each house as like a quest of some sort. Apparently Esmeralda is going on a fancy anniversary. Daughter called Angel. I bet she's the devil. Still trying to resolve the mic issues, but it seems that just one witness doesn't have the mic working. She's able to join the call, but um, I just can't hear her, so I think the mic is is not working. Uh, maybe we could try Skype. Uh, let's keep playing the game. She tries to figure it out. So, they really want to go on the date. Or at least Esmeralda wants to go on the date. And we're left with uh, the baby angel. Well, she doesn't want to go to the toy store. There's nothing we can do. Eh, maybe she does want to go to the toy store. Her doll is called Millie. It's not Angel wanting to go to the toy store, it's Millie. Of course. Let's look around the house. Maybe there's some stuff. Nope. There's a letter. Does the letter say? Ooh, just a letter. None of your business. Vanity. How to get your husband to spend money on, more money on you. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, okay. I already know the way to the market, but if you don't, just follow the, the arrows. Calvin comes to greet us. No fighting between monsters and humans. Uh, the restaurant is there. That's where our parents are. Uh, toy store. She's not talking, she's thinking into your mind. Uh, well, just one with us, maybe we can try Skype. Um, I'm gonna post you my... Because uh, on Skype you can test your mic there, uh, better than you can uh, test on Discord. So it might be work better. So it's worth a try at least. I'm gonna give you my details on um, on the chat. Mm, you don't have it installed. Okay. Well. You will just have to type then. Um, I mean, I, 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 it would be nice if you could uh, check the settings on um, because it's clearly settings on the user settings. If you go to voice and video, you should have the input device there, and it should be the. Um, actually, hold on. I think I can show this on um, on stream. Hide this for a second. Discord. If you go to the settings, you can just change the input device here and select the microphone here. Like, try the different ones until it works. That should uh, fix it. And if you don't know how to reach here, just uh, click the icon here on user settings. And then voice and video. So try that, see if it helps. Okay, so back to the game. Oh, there is no job. Try closing, uh, closing Discord and opening it again. Maybe it added a new device and it's not listed by default. So, or your microphone is just not being uh, recognized. Other than that, you can try restarting the computer. Okay. So, yeah, you're screwed. Unless you have another microphone that you want to try, or another computer. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go in the game. Uh, if you want to try something again, just let me know. Otherwise, just comment, you know. Uh, so, yeah. So, there are these uh, places where you can check. It has a little sparkling thing. Audio echo? What audio echo? I'm looking at OBS and there is no audio echo, so I don't know what you're talking about. I wonder if uh, the call being active was... No, but that doesn't... that wouldn't... But I wasn't hearing anything, so... That's some weird stuff. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's focus on the game and uh, not on the technical details. Uh, so yeah, just one witness, if you want to type about the game uh, while I play it, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna play through 
and comment a little bit on some stuff while I do it. Uh, I already played it before. Uh, it was one of the few games that I checked already, and it's pretty good. I like I like the the um, uh, the artwork, the the map layouts. It's pretty simple, but it works. And I like the the story and that the character is flawed and not your typical hero. So I really like that part, that concept, not your typical role-playing game. Uh, these doll clothes are so cute. Do you think Dolly wants a new outfit? Her name is Millie, not Dolly. She has cool clothes. She doesn't care about you. Millie has a very strong personality, even though she's not alive. Let's jack some toys here. Oh, so cool. Look at this toy boat with a lot of details. Nope, she doesn't want stuff for boys. Miniature pianos. Low toys are paying for her existence. Well, uh, it, well, hey Chuck, welcome to the stream. Uh, the issue is not the um, the thing. The issue is the microphone. So uh, the platform wouldn't really matter. Well, she's calling me again. Let's try see if it works this time. It's weird that you guys now? say there is. Yeah, now it's working. Hello, welcome. Yay. <laughs> that was hard. So what did you do to fix it? So like a very simple thing? I reset the settings on... Um, just turn it off and on again. Or no, that, Discord, Discord. <laughs> just turning it off and on again works fine. So uh, people were, were asking... Um, let me check the exact question. Hold on, scrolling back. Scrolling back. Uh, the background music. Did you do the the background music, or uh, is it from stock? It is free, commercial and non-commercial use that I found, I believe, on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. okay. name of the the name of the composer would be would be in the credits. Yeah, in the end, you you list them there. So tell us about uh, the concept of the game. Like uh, you saw the call for IGMC entries, and what was your idea? Well, um, I know of people in my life who suffer from alexithemia, which is an inability to f perceive one's own emotions. Although the person isn't unable to feel emotions, they actually usually feel physical pain instead. And uh, so I thought maybe it would be nice to write a story about a little girl who had this disorder, and um, I would call it a broken frown and just follow her story as she interacts with townspeople and tries to figure out what is wrong with her or how she can become friends with her. Where did you get that name Broken Frown from? Did you just, did you like brainstorm or? I made it up, yeah. I came up with the idea actually while I was working. I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the, the best way to get ideas. Either that or the toilet, that's also very useful. <laughs> yeah, well, it was the day after the contest was announced, and I'm like, well, I don't think I'm actually going to do it unless I can come up with an idea I really like. And the next day I was driving for work, and uh, I came up with that idea, and I thought I'd give it a shot. Yeah, it seems, I, I like the concept that it's a flawed character. And uh, there has been some hype on some games using more, um, you know, Heroes that are crazy or seeing things. Uh, I'm thinking of this game in particular that of course I'm not remembering the name right now uh, That got a lot of hype because of that But uh, it's interesting that it's being more explored and I really like the potential that games have to Explain those things to more normal players and I mean you can still be entertaining and pass a message of something that uh should be more wide known. So I, I really like those concepts and I really liked your game because of that detail. So I think that was a, a good call from your uh, part. Well, thank you. I, ho I hope that it um, helps spread, spread awareness, especially if anybody has somebody in their life, a loved one or a friend or a relative 
that suffers from it, they may gain some perspective and understand why that person may possibly offend them on a regular basis, yet not seem to care. It's a major impact on a person's social, the ability to uh, interact with people socially. Yeah. So how hard was in the game? Was was it making the game? Had you made games before or how did that uh, work out? This is actually my first released game. I've been using RPG Maker for about a total of six months. I took a break to study JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea came easy. And, and surprisingly, the game actually kind of wrote itself. I was astounded. I just had to sit there in front of the keyboard and uh, the characters really just wrote themselves. So it was astonishing, astonishingly easy, actually. I was surprised. Did you write like the plot first and then uh, do drew the the map or how did that work? No, no. Actually, one of the people in, in my life who I know very well who has alexithemia is me, and one of the uh, one of the characteristics is impulsiveness and uh, planning. Is I'm allergic to planning, so <laughs> <laughs> there was no. <laughs> Well, that works. I, just, I mean, you uh, just go along. That it, it's that's right. That's right. Like yeah. I said, the story wrote itself. As the characters came to life, they kind of just they took on their own personality. Okay, I'm checking Lunara, uh, which is the the drunk horse opera singer. <laughs> how did how did you get yeah. an idea for a drunk horse opera singer? I mean, a horse opera singer is already <laughs> weird. Why is she drunk? <laughs> Well, um, if you read the books around her house, it gives you a little bit of backstory on Lunara. She uh, used to be a famous opera singer, and unfortunately nobody listens to opera anymore. So she has fallen into this deep depression and has turned to vodka to help uh, take the edge off. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> uh, okay, she's taking a seat to listening to the awesome opera singing. If you if you read the book, you will be able to go back into the house after you get kicked out. Um, if you if you read the book on her desk, it explains it the best. Okay, I, let me get kicked out and then go back in. <laughs> she was actually a skeleton at first, um, and the the e, e, are you familiar with the RTP uh, assets that come with RPG Maker? I'm well, I know the one from uh, VX. I don't know the ones from MV, so I don't okay. know how different yeah. they are. MV comes with a skeleton that has some pretty uh, glamorous embellishments on, and that's actually where the opera singer thing came from. But then I changed her to a Pegasus, so it may make a little less sense. Hmm. But the way she was dressed, uh, just it just made me think of a a forlorn actress or an opera singer or somebody who was famous that no longer had an audience. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The book says the sad truth. No one listens to opera anymore. The moment I came to this dreadful realization, I came to understand that all light had gone out of this already sad world. Very sad indeed. Okay. Let's uh, do another of the um, the quests. This is the house with the little dragons. So you did the game all alone, or did you get help from someone? Uh, all alone. Okay. Except for, of course, the amazing contributors on RPG Maker, the R R RPG Maker forum, who who offer free art and music and plugins. Uh, obviously, I, I got help from that. But as far as writing the script and, and developing the game, that was just me. Okay. I, I'm looking at people's closets but by some reason. Dragons are <laughs> us, issue 14. How to avoid burning your house down in your sleep. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's always important to know. Notice that their house is built out of stone, which yeah. also helps. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Dragocratic, get Prince Charming out of office. Uh, okay, so where do I have to take him? I think it's to... Or her. I need to take her to the jewelry store, I think. Yes. Oh, there's Peep. Oh, Miriam, you look busy. Yep. Need something? Nah, I'll catch you later. Okay. Peep looks so sad all the time. Even when he's <laughs> excited, he looks sad somehow. He's the red-headed adopted child. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to the jewelry. Stranger just disappears. He's a very Thank shy you. stranger. Oh, yes. I can't watch you because it causes an echo. I'm trying to get on my phone to see it. Mm. Yeah, just mute on uh, Twitch. That would probably work. <laughs> Bring the dragon back. I was gonna say that uh, the feedback is gone, but it's not, because I just heard it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even opened it yet. My yeah, and now we are about to insult Mildred. Yeah, dress key. Uh, headful dress ray. Uh, headphones also help, but uh, you know, last minute calls, no mic check. This is what you get with live streams. But I hope you guys are able to endure it. Pip has caught up on us. Fancy meeting you here. He wants to pick up berries. Hold on, just typing a message to just one which. So he wants an escort to pick up berries. I love how Pip gets so excited. <laughs> uh, I think his house is that way. This is blinking. Uh, nope. Oh, yes. He's, he's adopted. And the father just says, go talk to your mother. He already knows that that's the right answer for everything he might say. Sure, I'll take people along. And we won't run into any heroes or run into any danger. He's the opposite of wanting danger. He's the not wanting danger. Peep the not wanting danger fox. Okay, let's go get some berries. Four berries. Now you're muted, just one witness, you didn't notice? You muted yourself.
Picking up the berries. Hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Oh, I didn't notice that I had muted myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying so, to tell you that if you look in so, the... Yeah? If you look in the corner of Peep's house, uh, mm -hmm. there's a, a bit of mushroom kibble in the jar that you can take with you to the forest. Ah, okay. <laughs> but it's too late now, you can't get it. <laughs> I can't go back? No, no, you're stuck. You're, you're, you're locked out of Peep's house from now on. Ah. <laughs> what, what would happen if you would use the, the kibble in the forest? It would, like, not it, grow big um, or something? No, it just resets his hunger. Okay. When I first played it, I from after I did every mission, I would go back and uh, feed him. On uh, this one, I'm not feeding him, so I'm wondering when will he uh, complain. He'll probably run away after this uh, cutscene with Peep and his parents. Okay, let's go to the cave. Oh, no, we're not supposed to go to the cave. Right. Of course. My bad. You're right. It's too dangerous. Let's go back. Eh, maybe he does want to go to the cave. We might regret it forever. Aren't you curious from the singing? It's. It might be a nice old lady living in there and fell down and needs some help getting to her tomatoes because she loves tomatoes and <laughs> eats them every day. Obviously. It's a likely story. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she grow tomatoes in the forest? In a cave, no less. But hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's explore the cave. My mom's dead. Uh, if I'm blowside, I'm going to do at least four, maybe five, depends how they go. We already, well, we are in our second now. Is is the singing lady supposed to be a ghost or fairy? No, they're all mutants. They're just uh, abnormal humans. They're considered mon. Okay. Which the heroes Sinking. come and kill. Yes. Well, because as we all know from RPG games, that heroes indiscriminately kill monsters by the thousands. Yeah. It's quite sad, really. I don't know why she's laughing. It it's, 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 it's terrible. <laughs> and she can't stop laughing. And now he woke up. And Peep goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to script this scene? Oh, I it took me 25 days to make this, and the events took up probably 23. <laughs> Especially since they kept breaking repeatedly. Oh, the events? Oh, yeah. They're breaking how? Oh, yeah, just overcomplicate things. Forget which switches I put on what, and some funny ah, okay. stuff would happen. How much uh, gameplay did you play? Like, how, much, how many times did you play through it to test it? Um, probably more than a hundred. Mm. Did you ask anyone about else to test it before you released it, or...? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I had about 15 uh, beta testers. Okay. Where did you get them? Friends, family. Okay. Uh, 
Adelaide is asking on the chat uh, if uh, I played all the games I've shown before. Well, this one I had already played, the other ones I had not, so I'm going blind on the, the other ones. And now she's laughing again. <laughs> she's remembered. So funny, she can't help it. <laughs> yep. They were pretty mad. I don't know what I could have done. I was trying to laugh. She was, I was trying not to laugh. It seems so funny. So he should run away here in a yes, second. Yes, he did. Oh, you'll hear you'll hear the sound twice. It's because he does come up in the same map. You just have to find him. Okay, so I guess I should find him now before. Uh, yeah, you can't on. do it until you find him. Come on, dog. Where are you, dog? Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> He's in the garden. He's always in the garden. Always in the garden. Oh, here he is. There you are. Better not run like that. The townspeople don't like you in their garden. Yeah. Oh, you had a typo there. You wrote there with the IE instead of EI. Ugh. That now word is. Now you're not gonna get any good placings from the juries anymore. <laughs> and it's too late to, to fix it because the deadline already passed. Are Sadly you kidding enough. me? You should have seen how many spelling uh, errors I had up until I literally the last submission that I put in was 33 seconds before the end of the deadline. 33 seconds. 33 seconds. Didn't you have problem like uploading? Like some people were saying that there was was hard to upload last minute because it might be too crowded and stuff like that. No, I had no issues at all. In fact, I think it was actually uploading faster. Okay. I have good internet though. Okay. Uh, I need to buy stuff for the large dragon. Who can't come out of the house. <laughs> okay. And I think this is the final mission for the end scene. This, uh, this store, if you look around, you'll know what my favorite uh, alcoholic beverage is. It's not vodka. No, it's not vodka. She's, oh. she's tempted to buy IPA. I'm already back in the, in the dragon's place. Thank you for getting the things I needed. And he's mad at us again. Shall we take a look at... Tiny's things. Let's see what's here. A lot of medical bills. Dieters monthly. Get that slimmer figure you've been longing for. Well, it's clearly not working. <laughs> Motivational book. Dad, again. Okay. He already knows that he can't get out of the house. Let's see, this man has a lot of food. Yeah. Medium, thank godness. I need your help. It's Franklin. He heard there was a hero. He wants to prove himself. Okay, let's go save Franklin. Oh man. Let's go, dog. Why, why is the forest so foggy at this scene? Um, I wanted to give it an air of danger. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Being overwhelmed. Just seemed too cheery without it. <laughs> Uh, 
The hero is a dumb animal. I feel bad for the hero, actually, because you don't even try to talk with him, you just fight him straight away. I mean, he could be a nice guy and not be your usual hero. I was gonna give him dialogue, but I was like three days away from submission and I had done very little bug testing, so the hero became a dumb animal. Mm. Oh shit, can I actually die? Yeah, oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah, I died. <laughs> I can't of too strong. Because last time I played it, I won. So I figured that was the only outcome possible. Won? Yeah. I didn't even think that was possible, honestly. <laughs> I think so. Maybe did I? Maybe I lost, and since the game continued playing, I thought, yeah, and then I ended up thinking that I won. But, yeah, man, I, gu I guess you're right. I mean, you did the game. You should know if it's possible or not. Well, he's got, like, 10,000 health or 900... Yeah, no, 99... 99,999 health. Which is a little bit. <laughs> I, I was just making sure nobody accidentally beat him. Now the whole, now the, this is the sad scene. Sad Everybody scene. Ha Body hangs hand. around. Blood. Bob I'm just says Bob. Yeah, it's normal. Twitch has yeah, like a little, little like. Carrying the mushroom around. I don't know what to do. What do I do? So she just throws him in the well. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's actually inspired by a true story. <laughs> Throwing a real dog into a well? Well, I had a dog that was run over by a school bus filled with elementary school kids, and I was only about 17 at the time. I'm and pretty sure you shouldn't really throw dead. dead creatures into a well. I think it will contaminate well, I stuff. Didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't throw it in a well, but I threw it across the yard, and it horrified everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tr true story. I was getting it out of the road. <laughs> well, at least you're not like a hero that indiscriminately kills everyone just because they're monsters. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Her head hurts. I think I could just sleep forever. I managed to make everyone in this town hate me. All I ever wanted was to be your friend. No, I don't even have dog. It's okay, we don't hate you. Of course, in real life, people still hate you. They don't get it, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a game, so you had to have an empty ending, right? That's right. The queen may be able to help. Okay, let's see this queen. The miracle maker. He's Prince Jared. Okay, let's give it a go. Jared has joined your group. Let's go visit the queen. This castle is a little confusing, actually. It's like rather big. The castle? Yeah. I was gonna make the castle, but ran out of time, so that's the uh, RTP castle, actually. Okay. I had a castle in my scene and I just cut it down from the RTP version. I made it like a reduced version. 
just closed up some walls <laughs> and didn't make a second floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should have done that actually. <laughs> if you if you get the books on the second floor and in the queen's bedroom, there's some game lore. Okay, let's go check that. Second floor on the queen's. Is it to the right or to the left? The second floor library and the queen's bedroom both have game lore. Okay, let's take a look. The library. Brief history of Mobstone. Let's let's read the brief history of Mobstone. Was founded and built by monsters. At one time, all monsters did was wander around aimlessly in fields, forests, and dungeons. They would often randomly get attacked by heroes passing through. Those bastards. For some strange reason, they always <laughs> carried large amounts of money and items that only a hero would want. This was such a draw to the heroes that they would actually walk around in circles for hours in hopes that a monster would wander by. So stalker heroes, even. One day the monster said, well, this is stupid. And they came here to build a town to live in. Now there's a truce between heroes and monsters. They stay away from each other for the most part. But in a place called Neutral Ground, they meet each other from time to time. There is no fighting allowed in Neutral Ground. Okay, that explains everything. Mm -hmm. How to cook the perfect fried egg. There's a whole book about it. How to come up with fake book titles when you're running out of ideas. Yeah, that's a nice one. Dolly and Jason catch the ball and engage in children's tale. Okay. Dear Diary, I saw the new guard again today. He's so dreamy. I really love Guard the Guard. That was really smart name picking. Did you actually mistype and then uh, not fix it or...? Was it intentional? <laughs> no, Here's... no, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> There's Gaurd. Love... You have you have two Gaurds. Like one should be Gaurd and the other one should be Guard. That would even make it more stupid. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a spell tart. That's what that's what's going on here. <laughs> okay, nothing in the map room. I guess let's do the ending. Let's talk with the queen. Jared, my son. So nice to see you, mother. Are you well? I am well. Are you going to introduce me to this nice girl who stands at your side? Yes, mother. I would be pleased to introduce you. Her name is Miriam. She lives in the village. What a lovely girl you are, Miriam. Jared, how did it come about that you are bringing her before me? The queen is very elo eloquent. Yeah, I figured she should be. Of course, blah blah blah, she has uh, a broken frown. I don't know. You have a broken frown. I thought so. Sorry, mother. you feel pain? Yes, I did. Very tired. Mm. No, there is a catch to your game that if some people don't know the name of the disease, they think that you made up uh, Broken Frown completely, and it doesn't really exist in the real world. Yeah, I put a note on my game page. Mm -hmm. If people read it, they'll know that it was based off of a real disorder, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. There's no fixing. Okay. Let's go live happily ever after anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's life. You gotta deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> this end sequence uh, kind of feels like it 
required some more dialogue, but I don't know. Probably. Yeah, the cutscenes, if I had more time, I would have I would have covered every character in the village somehow, mm -hmm. but I ran out of time. Mm -hmm. The little girl who had cried out all her tears was all grown up. She found out she had a broken frown and that it was the root of many of her problems. If only it could be fixed somehow. Jared asked Miriam to marry her, and after first laughing at him, she accepted. Wallace and Saria fished Dog out of the well and surprised Miriam with a beautiful gravesite. This had the unintended effect of creating more little mushroom pets. Miriam and Jared kept two, and Peep, after begging his parents incessantly, got to bring one home too. That's good. Lunara finally invited Miriam back to hear her sing. She even sat her in the front row. Miriam was barely able to contain her laughter. <laughs> Things began to get a bit better for the little girl with no tears. The townspeople tried harder to understand her, and she tried to understand them too, although she still made people mad often. They would always forgive her. Miriam and Jared began to live a happy life together. One night, when all was quiet and Miriam felt particularly content, Jared pulled her close, held her extra tight and told her everything was going to be okay. And for a brief moment in time, this little girl who couldn't feel her own sadness had a sudden rush of sorrow. She was sad for making people mad, she was sad for hurting people's feelings, she was sad that she couldn't make friends. She was especially sad because she missed Dog. But she has little dogs now. As she sobbed in Jared's arms, she felt the weight of all the bad things that had happened in her life suddenly lift off, and for the first time in the life of this broken and lonely young woman, she finally felt... understood. The end. That was such a happy ending. You were such a sellout. There's, uh, there's this okay. little girl, she's broken, and the, the whole the world becomes happy ever after. Everybody loves a happy ending. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm just I, I'm just being picky. Well, that's it. Well, I like the game. I mean, it's small, but uh, I like the broken character, as I already mentioned, and uh, I think it works well. It has some plots, it's not just a uh, storyline. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Thank Do you, you have so much for streaming it. That was awesome. <laughs> no problem, my pleasure. Uh, is there <laughs> anything else you would like to tell people about your game? Like, uh, about your work process, the stuff you did? Anything you can think um, of? Oh, there's not much to say. I just kind of jumped on this bandwagon and wrote it to the end. That's it. I mean, the game kind of wrote it. Off. The characters grew on their own, and and somehow I finished it. I actually really didn't think I would, so that's uh, how I got here. So uh, was it worthwhile this uh, month of uh, stressing to try to do the, the game? Do you Are you happy with the end result? It was. Most of the month was a lot of fun. The end of the month was torture. But um, <laughs> I, I really enjoyed the experience. <laughs> okay, that's I don't know good. I'll do it again right away, though. <laughs> how, how many games of the other 249 are you going to check out? Uh, I was thinking on my YouTube channel I would feature one a day, and I may play a few in between. Okay, that's cool. So. <laughs> I, there's, uh, they said they were going to cut down this, uh, the judging period, so I'm guessing it'll be 21 that I'll feature, 20 that I'll feature. Uh, on the site it says that it's one month and 11 days, I believe, the voting. Voting ends in one month, 11 days, yep. Yeah, so yeah. six I, weeks, I guess. Um, I can't remember who said it earlier, I think it may have been Mark. Who, who said that they were thinking about cutting it down because there were so few entries. Mm, okay. Well, we will see. Uh, okay, well, thank you for joining us on the stream, and thank you for making the game. And uh, see you thank next you. time. Thank you.
All right, bye. Thank bye. you for playing my mother's game. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, so let's check out uh, another game. Uh, we have a few more uh, listed. Uh, this was understood. Second game we checked out. We have a couple more already lined up for today. One of them is Adventures of Cherry Heart. I don't think the developer is around, uh, but I will poke him just instead. He said that he might be around, but probably not. So I will poke him anyways. Uh, let's start the game and take a look. So it's called Adventures of Cherry Heart and should be loading. RPG Maker M MV. Let's fix this uh, window capture thing. I think I have to make this smaller. Yeah. Okay, uh, options, let me reduce the sound a little bit. Battle camera on, always dash, yeah, sure, it's fine. Uh, new game. So, Adventures in Cherry Heart. Hello and welcome to the Adventures of Cherry Heart. For the best playing experience, we recommend to not skip the dialogue, as it will mess up the voice acting. Oh, there's voice acting, okay. Now, are you new to these kind of games? Need a quick rundown of the controls and special features like drop points and jumping? Uh, no, I think it's just hitting the button. Alright, let us begin then. In a world parallel to our own, there lies the country of Alias. Magic and creatures beyond one's imagination thrive here, making the land wild and untamed. I love the accent, or like the, the... It's not accent that it's called, it's like a um, phonetic expression. Like it's a very and serious matter. Exceptional people with extraordinary gifts have created guilds. Okay, so the maker can't join us, but he is in the chat, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask and he will hopefully reply. Uh, let, I think I want to put the settings, the, the sound of it louder. Of these guilds, uh, I can't do it now. Cherry Heart. Okay. Woo! That was one crazy mission. This young man is Katsu, a man with the power to summon many mythical creatures to his side. He could be considered the unofficial leader of this group of Cherry Heart members. It was a little too easy, if you ask me. This young woman is Tyra. She's a proud warrior and is one of the stronger members of Cherry Heart. She fights her foes with weaponry and overwhelming I physical hate strength. hate you all so much. Oh, this is the nice one, I, th I see. The cranky one is Hazel. <laughs> She's a dark mage. She doesn't have the best people skills, but her heart is always in the right place. We think. <laughs> We love you too, Hazel. Lastly, this is Kato. Kato! He's a mage with the power to control the winds. Not only is he one of the calmer people in the rambunctious Cherry Heart, he is one of the best all around fighters. Okay, and that's our group. Our party! How did we go from transporting cheese to fighting werewolves? You act like it wasn't a breeze, Hazel. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to rest in my room. So, uh, Kaisel, tell us a little bit, like, uh, how many people are part of the game? And uh, how was it like to, to uh, do it? Where did you get the idea from? Like, uh, Type us a little bit about the game if you could on the chat. It would be nice to have some uh, background insights. Oh, I can find a mission. Let me do it, please. Sounds good to me. I'll be outside if you need me. And if you don't need me, I'll still be outside. Uh, 
five sticks and five stones. Okay. Oh, the voice acting ended. Did you like run out of time to record the rest? <laughs> Uh, let me try to get the sound a little louder. Uh, eh, eh, this is sound effects. I wonder which which one is for the voice acting. I'm hoping it's one of these. Should be background music. Should be this one. Well, let's see. Should be louder now. Where's my weapon? Okay, I need to find her a weapon. Hey Katsu, is Kaito back as well? Yes he is, just not here. Let's see what's up here. It's a door! Shouldn't go in there, okay. Uh, voice acting and sound effects. Okay. So I guess I should increase that. Okay. Should be better now. Uh, maybe. Go throughout throughout your journeys you will find recipes contain the info that you need to create things just a matter of getting the items themselves and bringing them to the device to the left of me uh, okay so I need recipes Ooh. yeah let's craft a random weapon forget me not ha <laughs> that is such an original name I do a weapon for the other one? I wonder if it's the weapon that I just forged. Why is there a shadow here? Is this a bug? Did I find a bug in your game? There is a shadow and there shouldn't be. This is the weapon she wanted. Okay, it was. Okay, let's show this to Azel. Wherever she is, she went around here somewhere. Uh, that doesn't look like Azel. That looks like a little girl. Oh, it is Azel. Okay. I'm going to the woods of Big Berries. Yeah, a little easy. Need four people to pick berries. It's a very badass berries. Let's see what books she has. So many books. How to deal with idiots for the sophisticated. Ah, typo. Got a typo. There's a typo. A book. How to keep your cursed blood under control. Oh, manga. Orange High Host Club. I don't know that one. Prismal Helix Alpha. Okay, that one sounds good as well. This bookshelf should probably kill the dragon if it dipped over. So many books. Cosplaying, whatever that is. Okay, I guess we should go back out and find Kato. Could this be Kato? Yes. Swift as the wind, as peaceful as the forest, as daring as fire, as steadfast as the mountain. That's the standard Cherry Heart members strive to be. Can we say we're like that? Oh, we got a mission. Well then, let's get going. Alright. 
This will be fun. Let's head to the forest. What's this? Swift. Ah, it's the saying. Clock, clock, clock. These are mushrooms, not berries. And this is a blob. Uh, three blobs. Uh, I guess I will use blood magic. Cover an enemy in shadow. Bam! But the characters look really cute. So, Kazo, tell us how much of this is uh, stock and how much is original stuff. Summon an ice wisp. Bam! Aeromancy can cast the breeze. Ooh, fancy limit breaker. It like accumulates, I guess. Oh no, it's for combos, maybe. Ah, oh, he what? Why did the super flower? She, she killed Azel. Why? Why did he kill Azel? Azel is the cool one of all the people. Does she resurrect automatically, or do I have to... She has zero EP. Damn. Uh, do I have like a raise potion or item? Heals, heals even better. Shit. How do I resurrect Hazel? I like her. She, she's the nicer character of them all. Summon fire, I guess. I guess I have to go back to village to... I don't think smacking her with a stick will work, but I, I guess I can try. Oh, there's a heal point further down south. Okay, I guess I'll go check that. Oh, I don't have a stick now, so... Now I can definitely hit her with the stick. Let's see if I can heal her first. Is that... that, that doesn't look like a heal point. You have a volcano coming up? Or is this a boss? Where am I? Wow, bad guys, go away. We well, are yeah, we're heroes. We're indiscriminately killing monsters again. Uh, no, I want to resurrect Hazel first, obviously. Because she's the cool one. Is that a resurrection point? Let's see. 
fills you with utter determination. And also refills health and mana. Okay, now we can fight. Uh, actually, my shift is not. My shift isn't making me go faster, curiously enough. Maybe it's control? Uh, ultimate summons. I don't have any. Uh, let's summon a Light Wisp. Alright, Hazel is back. Cast some shade on him. Bam! Limit Breaker. Still can't use it. So just attack. And miss. And get hit. Summon something else. Maybe Earth. Yeah, Ice or Water would probably be better. Uh, that's, that's a good point. I should probably pay attention to that. But he's almost dead anyways. Bam! Weapon. Flash Slash. Whoop! Oh yeah! Okay, Tyra is pretty cool as well, not just Azel. I still like Azel better. Ow, ow, ow! We're guild members, we help people! Of course we can help you, what do you need? I need to get back home. The Dragon Breath Mountains to the north, okay. With the dragons and fire monsters, he's one of them. Yeah, heroes are always like that. They hit first and ask questions later. Never trust a hero. How else do you help people besides hitting them? I hear you. So you say shift, but shift isn't doing... Control isn't doing anything either. Z isn't doing... It. Well, I have this secret option, which is called... Dash, always dash. That should help. Still not dashing. And now the shift works. Okay. Oh, I want the loot. Blood magic. Alright, level four. Let's check out the loot. Potion! Revival pill! Ah, if I had a revival pill before. Magic water and another revival pill. You never know. Could I go down? No, okay. That end. Let's go back. Why do their steps sound like they're walking on wood? Is the grass made of wood? Shall we go directly to the north mountains? What's this? A fanboy kid! I'm gonna grow up to be super cool summoner ninja! And shall we go... Oh, what's this? Lonely person on the pier? It's Lily. Ocean's Grey Waves. She's back from the quest. Try pressing C. Special performance. Oh, C jumps. Okay. C is for kangaroo, obviously. Uh, didn't we want to go north? How, how am I supposed to go north? Could it be... Through the house? And now they're walking again instead of running. Oh, 
Oh, pogo sticks. Okay, that makes sense. Embarrassing. Or awkward, or rather. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. It's like Captain Keen. Um, okay, so we need to take the Vulcan guy, or Vulcan kid, uh, to the north. Can we go to the guild now? Nope. So the North Mountain thing was supposed to be after the forest quest. Can I end the quest here? Or did I completely miss the quest? Because we did get cherries, didn't we? Mm. Mm. Nope, we didn't. So I guess I have to go back to the forest. Which apparently I can't anymore. <laughs> Are you sure you guys play tested your game? Because it seems like he has a couple of bugs here and there. Am I stuck? Let's check out the store. Welcome to the Shop of Wonders! Where you can buy potion and forget-me-nots. Or sell stuff that you don't use. Like, I don't have any. So I guess the stick is the thing that helps you hop. I guess that makes sense. Up, up, up. Um, okay, that's another bug. <laughs> I, I can walk into a window. <laughs> Sorry guys, you clearly should have hired me to playtest your game. Welcome to the Night Night Club. That's a nice time. Night Night, night Inn. Uh, yes, we are. You can sleep in your guild. Yes, that's true. Ought to be a popular inn. Staying in the times. <laughs> Let's check the rooms. Of course you can't go there. Of course. See, I can walk into a window. And then from the window, walk into the door. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, let's see if we can go uh, down now. What about through here? No. What about through here? No. Damn. I, I'm, I'm stuck. I can only go up. You have a sign not saying anything. Come on. Come on, guys. Just one witness. I found three typos in your game. And I wasn't even trying. So don't get me started. Okay, at least I can go. I can still go up. So I guess the only way is up. And we already checked here. So I guess we should go left. There is nothing. There is nothing, and the shift doesn't work anymore. That's... So, yeah. Sorry to say, Keso, but your game is a little buggy. So, the only thing left that I can do is go to the right. Well, I can talk with this girl. Yes. Uh, no, maybe. Well, maybe I can jump to the other side. No. There's a block. Oh, so I see. So I really found a, 
a nasty bug that locks me out of the rest of the narrative. We're supposed to be able to walk between the two areas just fine. Well, I can save the game and send it to you if you want. Oh, no, I already knew this. Can I... I can craft this. No. But I have the ingredients. Oh, I need the recipe for one. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I shall save and I shall start a new game. And I will use dash and skip all the dialogue this time. Even though the voice acting will screw up. Uh, no. In a world parallel to our own, there lies the, the country of Alias. Exceptional people with one so just cover your ears. This isn't happening. A man with the power to summon many missing young women to his side. She's a proud warrior and is one of the stronger members of the Dark Weaponry and overwhelming physical This is noise music right here. I should be sampling this to use on uh, my next noise album. Not only is he one of the calmer people in the rambunctious cherry heart. He is one of the best all-around fighters. I'm serious. You How did like we go from transporting <laughs> cheese <laughs> to up. fighting werewolves? I'm going to rest oh, my favorite oh, is Hazel. Position. Let me know Let me do it. Please. So I can I'll see. be outside. It will actually me. take it. And if you don't need me, I'll still be outside. Make a weapon. Yes, yes. Okay. So make a weapon. Yeah, it's because on this room, I'm automatically dashing, even though I didn't turn the dash thing on. But when I reach the forest, then it goes back. Well, I don't need your help. I already know how to craft, so I'm just gonna do it. And finish. And go back. Skip all the people. Yes. It's a little rough, rough, but it will do. Let's catch Azel. Yes, yes, yes. That's big berries. I didn't see any berries, though. Were they like, oh, well, they should sparkle. Like uh, in uh, Just One Witness's game. That would really be helpful. Not without everyone. Yeah, let's catch that guy. Yes, 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 I know. Oh, now I have double dash. It's even better. <laughs> the barriers should be close, right? So now I have super dash on all the time. Okay, I'm gonna. S ah. Missing the tile the transfer was on because it, it, because I thought it was a different one. We never touched it. Yeah. Bam. Killer flower. Are are these graphics uh, stock from the? from our well, just stock or did you like make them original I like the characters though they're so cute when they're when they're like miniature I don't know the RTP from RPG Maker MV, so I, I never can tell. I have another section of the forest, okay. Let's go. 
No, no, uh, 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 uh. get away from me. Okay, so this is the that save point that refills. Well, not the save point, but it refills stuff. So if I, I'm just trying to avoid. And Narta said, "Let's others use it for free." That's cool. Bam! Oh, she grew. That's not good. Uh, the last time she drew, she kicked our asses. Okay, that fixed it. Okay, next. I don't want to fight the blob. Hey, we're going to head into Soldier Run territory. These guys are actually kind of strong. Of course we are. We can't we just avoid fighting them? No, let's not avoid. Let's let's fight them. There we go. I have blood magic. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Yeah, hit with one. Down with one hit. I suggest you get the items and at least get to level six. Okay, let's go back for the items then. Can I get the Lava Kid guy already? I'm immortal, I can die. I'm the hero, heroes never die. Did you guys learn anything? Okay. Level up. Oh my god, come on. Boom. Uh, attack. Attack. Okay, I'll get the volcano. Come on, don't miss. One more hit. Thank you. Uh, so where were the items? They were here somewhere. Or actually, the lava kit first. Blah blah blah. Blah blah. Yes, fight. Blood magic. Bam. Let's summon the earth. I, I'm doing that mistake again. Where... Where... I'm not attacking with uh, ice or water, I think. Well, I'm almost dead. Well, let's heal that guy up then. Oh, it's to the side. As ice. Yeah, super dash is awesome. I love it. At least it makes the run a lot faster. Oh, come on. Oh, he. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Okay. Calm down, little one. After the first level, consider the game done because there's a bug that stops the gameplay. I sadly didn't catch it in time for the contest. Okay. Yeah, you guys seem to have run a little bit out of time. Did you like uh, plan a much bigger game and then just ran out of time or was it bad planning? What what can you tell us about that? I mean, I'm not judging. I know one month is too little to make a, a game. Uh, I'm just like, you know, asking for the benefit of people who want to do games in the future. What could have been done better? Super Dash is awesome. And 
you have to dodge these guys very easily. Survival pill, magic water, survival pill. Yeah, blood magic. Bam. Okay, let's not fight this guy, and not fight this guy either, but I ran into him. So why are the items like blobs, and then they are petals? That doesn't make much sense. They should be, uh, you know, same type. I can summon a volcano now. That was a bit anticlimactic. It should have, like, burst or something. Or it doesn't take a while to take action. Oh shit, the other one grew. Uh, no, no, no. I need to kill the big one first. And with this I can summon... Ice. Bam. Alright! Okay, okay, go, go down. Super Dash makes it hard to do the turns. No, 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 I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I'm a peaceful man. Let's go to the next stage. And not fight this too late. Uh, blood magic, yes. They got new skills. Cool. Oh, that's a big guy. Uh, I guess I'll kill the archer first. So now I can get rid of them in one hit. Well, if he's a fire rat... I was gonna say if he was a fire ant, I probably shouldn't use fire on him, but apparently he doesn't really have defense against fire. Yeah, no pacifist run. Uh, 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 are these the berries that I'm supposed to be picking? Is this a secret? It's a secret, I can pick it from here. Come on. Super Dash makes it really hard to do those turns. Don't you feel nice and healed? Yeah, but it, it disappeared. It's like a one-use thing. I think the other one remained. Are these the berries? We got past the ants. We fought off the giant man-eating flowers. Let's just get no, the berries. We don't and go. know what these berries are. For. Oh, be poisoned. Well, that's just to let the dragon that made this place its territory know that we're invading it. What? A dragon? A dragon likes berries? I knew it. It was a trap from Tyra. Seriously, a dragon? How is a dragon easy, Tyra? All dragons are easy. Hey now, let's let Tyra defend herself for sending us on this obviously not very easy mission. Oh, this is going to be good. Well, it's only a dragon. I beat those up all the time. Yeah, who doesn't who doesn't uh, beat dragons for kicks? <laughs> okay, Tyra. We're going to have a Can talk Can we throw her at the dragon instead? <laughs> no, Hazel. No more talking. Oh, it's a white dragon. Uh, should I use shadow? Yes, I should. Oh, she has so many hit points. 360. Didn't even flinch. What's a climatic move? Tornado upper. I need to make a tornado first. Um, which I don't have enough TP to do. Oh, well, let's do a breeze instead. 
Uh, ultimate summon. I have a Wisp Assault. Bam! Whoa, four hits. And I do Limit Breaker, yeah? Demonic Aura. G for Vendetta! Eh, that's nothing. That's good. We're good. Let's just keep hitting. Yeah, how did you do these dragons? They are bone animations. Tornado upper. And didn't hit her. At all. Because, like, she has wings, so she's immune to... Stuff. Uh, the game we're playing right now is Adventures in Cherry Heart. I should probably heal at some point, but not yet. Should do standard attack. Uh, Tyra. Heal myself, I guess. The lowest. I summon a volcano on him. Why doesn't summon the volcano actually hit? It takes like a few turns for it to show up. That that must be it. Let's check out the limit breaker. Should have points still. <laughs> Ouch! Now I need to heal. Um, Tyra. Uh, I have an uh, ultimate summon. Not enough TP. Normal attack then. I have a weapon skill. Sky cut or flash slash. I'm gonna go for sky cut. Oh, it does damage every turn. Okay. Ah, 650. I saw it now. Break did 59 damage? Uh, I don't know. I don't recall. Support magic? Nothing. Yeah, the dragon should probably be immune to fire, I mean, otherwise... Leave for Vendetta! Ouch! I never tried Azel's ultimate, okay, I will try it now. If I don't kill the dragon first. Actually, I think I will guard on these just to try Azel's ultimate. Oh, the fire will get her. Damn. Oh, no. So, heritage moves. Lunar cannon. 
All right. Come on, Hazel. Give me a lunar cannon. Bam! Nice one. See, easy escape. Stop talking. I love Hazel. Hazel is the best. And now you're back. Can you go? But you can go back. Why was that? That was a very weird bug. I guess we can clear the mission now. Let's look around town a little more. For some reason, maybe talk with this girl. Like we did before. Oh, I... I hit talk again instead of uh, moving away. That's pretty much it. Okay. What the Katsu has I hear, but also in the residential area. Wait, what? Is this the bug part? Yep. <laughs> I can't move to the right. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for making the game, Katsu, and the rest of, uh, of your crew. Uh, it was it was fun. It was a little buggy. And I'm, I'm understating it a little bit. It was quite buggy, but, well, it was uh, clearly rushed. Uh, so, um, it happens. Oh, the guard on the right activates the bug. So uh, I hope you guys had fun doing the game. Hope it was worth uh, participating on IGMC 2017. Uh, if you would like to, you know, uh, say a few more things to other people making the games or about your experience making the IGMC uh, 2017 entry, this would be the ideal time to uh, write a little bit about it. I'm going to poke the creator of uh, the other guy. Sorry. Of uh, the next name that we are going to check, which is D. Tottenmasken by 8. Let's see if he's ready to join the stream. I want to close this. Uh, yes, Qcon can request. Uh, send me a link to your game on, uh, on the Discord. So I have the, the link there. Uh, I don't know how to set up calls with multiple people on Discord. I will try to find out now. While I find this out, I will uh, show this so people can uh, know. This is uh, so. Let's let's I th well let's try to call one person and then add a few more. See if that works. Uh, yeah, I can add friends to it. I think. Hello, Headpats, are you there? Yeah, here, I'll, I'll invite the others in a moment. Just okay. hang on. Good friends. Okay, sure. I'll have to add you as, I'll have to add you as a friend first. And, and... Uh, yeah. It's, uh, at least on Skype, it was... You would need to yeah. be friends with everyone before joining the call. Okay, so... Yeah, Kazo was saying in the chat that uh, if you're aiming to make a game for IGMC, you should try to keep the vision small or something attainable. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a rushed product. And uh, yeah. the cutscenes sit up a lot of time. Yeah, I, uh, I totally avoided cutscenes on mine, on my game. It looks a bit more daft because of that. But, uh, but yeah, it does take a lot of yeah. scripting and stuff like that. So, yeah, I've, I've sent you a friend request, so... I'll, um, I'll, I'll invite the others once you accept it. Where is pending? Uh, okay, I have accepted. Okay, here, I'll, I'll invite them. Uh, shoot, I don't have all these guys as friends. <laughs> <laughs> shoot, this is nuts. Uh, add friend. 
Uh, voice connection to Twitch is all made via Discord. I'm using OBS to uh, to do the stream. So I just have Discord on another uh, screen. That's why you don't see it. Okay. Hang on. Now I'll start inviting him. Okay. Uh, the next game that uh, we are going to check out is uh, the Toten the Toten Mask. That's that's the one we're trying to set up the call for right now. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, there's a coming in a moment. Uh, oh. We already have people here, so welcome. Okay, here I'll Thank start. Thank you. Start inviting them. Shoot. Be aware that we are already streaming. Yes. I am launching the game now. Hey, yo, what's up? Uh, Hello. Hey. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so we have a lot of people on stream. So I, 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 I guess we should introduce the people that are here. So uh, let's go by order. Let me take a look at the Discord. So uh, the first is. Actually, I can't see the nick, so... Ah, okay. Uh, Bellers Gate. So, hello, Bellers Gate. Oh. How are you doing? Oh, quite good. Um, I, so, I was the guy who did... Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was exactly what I was going to ask you. What was your role in the game? Uh, I came in sort of late, but I did mostly enemy design and general bug fixing. Okay. Designing the skills, states, stuff like that. Okay, uh, then we have Dust Zero. So Dust Zero, what was uh, hello? How are you doing? Hello. And uh, what was your role in the game that we are about to check out? Um, I was basically the main artist. I uh, I was one of the people who initially had the idea to make this game for the contest in the first place, and I made I made tiles and most of the enemies, and also the other art, like the background art right here. Okay. Uh, Headpads, uh, what was your role in the game? Um, I designed a good chunk of the combat system, and I should post it a lot, and some of that ended up in the game, so... I, okay. gu I guess it doesn't screw. <laughs> uh, then we have Enske, also with us. Hello Enske, how are you doing? What was your role in the game? Hi, I, uh, I produced a lot of the, well, some of the art for the game, like the, uh, uh, the character and the battle screen and a lot of the enemy design. Okay, and then last but not least we have Sna uh, Snaketicus. So hello Snaketicus, how are you doing? <laughs> not bad, how are you? I'm good. I, I, uh, while you explain what, you, what was your role in the game, I'm going to try to have uh, Discord show up on OBS so people see who is speaking at the time so please uh, go on sounds great um i did a lot of the writing the majority of it though of course these guys uh they made sure i wasn't getting too edgy uh i did the, almost all of the mapping uh most of the event scripting uh i did all the music uh, aside from a few songs which were made from another person who's not here right now but they did fantastic work so they did so the sound design and Okay. What what was the the concept behind the game? Who who would who would be the best person to talk about that? Snake. Snake. It's, this is based on his. He he, he has this this lore plan. He plotted out like a year ago, and this is somewhat based on it. Sorry, I have to speak for you, but. <laughs> okay. So uh, what can you tell us about uh, about that? Well, it's sort of based off a few things. Uh, mainly an idea I had uh, a while back for a way to make an interesting RPG in which you've got turn-based combat, multiple characters, but it's just a single character, which was to have um, all of the party members as the individual limbs, allowing you a certain degree of control, which you don't get normal normally. As well as this, it I made the story, I based it off a, a sort of world I've been working on in my head for a few years. I, a lot of it had to get cut due to time constraints, but uh, oh, I don't know. You can feel kind of the hands of a deeper lore, you know, kind of creeping up in this. And what's the basis behind that uh, that that world? 
Well, truthfully, yeah, I base a lot of it know. off of Mormonism. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, because it's... Uh, I don't think a lot of people know a lot about Mormonism, and it's actually got some really interesting beliefs. It's not really a form of Christianity. It's more similar to oh a boy. lot of old paganism. Bless. So, like, you... some good old blasphemy in here. So, yeah. so, so, what's what's the point in, in the game? You're like you're living in a Mormon society. Is that uh, the? <laughs> no, I think he means the religious oh, portion of Mormonism. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, I, I would have to explain so much, but more or less, uh, you play as August uh, Karelich, he was a, um, basically his entire race, his people, his country, everything was genocided um, through the use of a, basically a magical nuke, I guess is the quickest way to shorten that down. Uh, he wears a mask, that mask is an ancient uh, relic of basically the angelic helpers of an, of an older god, that god which died. You see, humanity continues to exist in this world because uh, one of these angels made it with the last living human. And that Jesus, was Jesus, right. you, you, were, you weren't kidding when you said you would have to explain a lot. <laughs> yeah. <That's> really, <laughs> did you like, did you, did you write a book about this world or did you just like sure. been thinking of scripts based out of it like how did you come up with it he wanted to make a comic book right ah, okay. um, originally but i wanted to make about five and then i was yeah. like hey what if i made them all work together and then eventually we more and more ideas sprouted out of it like a cancerous tumor and we ended up with what we have now i, I can continue <laughs> it's it is okay. the two is the cancer approach to lore and uh, time constraints or leukemia. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. I think the time constraint is actually a good thing because we, we just took in what was necessary and we had a deadline and actually really started working once we understood that we had a limited time frame. I just <laughs> lost. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you use a deadline? Oh. Oh. So this I is the knew part. I would happen. This is the part where I should have read the instructions and know that I need to equip yes. stuff in the arms. Yeah, I actually read that, but I thought, well, okay, let's... Okay, so start the game no. again. Don't use headbutts. Sika. It wasn't my idea. I made for the headbutt thing. Like, because we didn't replace the attack buttons for the team. We're like, okay, we're going to get rid of the head attack or what? So, the thought, like, I could remove it. Or we could give a headbutt, there's a 95% chance of knocking a player out and then a 5% chance of instantly killing the enemy. Uh. Ah, so <laughs> basically if people do the headbutt, they have a very large probability of dying. The idea is it's like you know, I people go instant people instantly go for the attack button first. Yeah. So you know you that, that's what people do. Like, they go for the attack that. first. Yeah, I still think it's a dick move, but yeah, I think so too. I would really like to um once we once we get the new version out to make it viable against certain enemies. Like that's ideal that later on find um, elite versions of the soldiers you are fighting at the beginning and they have these wedged helmets which actually increase headbutt damage. Okay. Well, I won the first fight now and I got tissue restorate found, whatever that is. And I learned oh, cure that's... and revive, so I can revive myself now. And my left arm is level 2. And so is everything yes. else, apparently. Okay. Except for my head. Yeah, we set the entire body to level up evenly, just just because. Uh, also, do, you, do you realize the, you can walk under the tank? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. it's a social. I know, but it's not near the end. <laughs> it's Tian <laughs> It's Tianmen yes. Square. <laughs> okay. It's deep societal commentary, <laughs> yes. and I will not fucking have you. Hey, it's there's a lot of space underneath. You can just crawl. It's a big tank for you. Like in, for you. Yeah, this is like an elevator. Really so, so design. how did you get where? Where did you get the artwork from? It's clearly some of it seems like it's from the stock footage, the RTS or RTB or whatever it's called. But did you tinted it and changed it a little bit, or did you oh, make a lot of, of original work? 
All of this is original. Dust uh, Zero, Damn, Amazing. Not oh, the yeah. chest. Not the chest. This yeah, dust, the, he hadn't the, done the, any spriting before this, so yeah. I set him some books, and this is pretty much among the first stuff he pumped out. The yeah, chests I had, are stalker. I, I had never, I had never tiled, uh, made tiles and pick art before, so I went in, just tried stuff, and it worked out really well, actually. And I enjoyed mm. it, and it was a great experience for me. Yeah. Where did you get the idea of having like all your elements be different parts of your body? Uh, that that was me. Um, that came from uh, the idea actually came around uh, last year around fuck. Uh, don't remember. July. I, don't. I was. Uh, I was thinking about how you could again make a party of entirely one character but make it still play as if you had a full group. And of course that's kind of an issue, but then I started thinking there are no games that really let you have full control. So this is basically apocalyptic quap. Hmm. Yeah. It's also, I think we wanted to kind of base it on this uh, crazy idea. No like DMC kind of gameplay where you have these crazy moves, but it's in a yeah. turn based game. So if you imagine it, if you would imagine in real life, you would do all these crazy moves like shooting with one hand, um, shooting another gun with the other hand, and doing a kick at the same time, something like this. Hey, uh, remember to use, uh, by the way, in battles, remember to use the strafe. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, be sure to save. Yes, be sure to save is a good amount. It increases your agility and evasion rate, but it decreases your accuracy, so the okay. right arm has this guy's left-handed. The right arm has this ability called Stabilize. Yeah, so I use essentially, that. Okay, yeah, good. So it that's usually best paired with. Yeah, that that that's best paired with strafing, but. I couldn't might, find uh, the strafe, but I did do the stabilize. So uh, you might uh, it's called, um, evade, I think. You might want to try strafe. It gives kind of a neat effect. Okay. You'll see what I mean. You can like also uh, deal dual wield. You can dual wield guns. That takes away your ability to stabilize. I, I only have one gun, though. Yeah, yeah when, when you one. when you unlock change. another gun, you know, move it to the inventory Ooh. slot for the other hands. Then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just because we, we, we our balancing might be a bit off, you might want to save occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I yeah. like to live Please dangerously. <laughs> save around here just in case you get one. Trust me, uh, we, we, some of That's the, what some you of guys the, do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, some of the, uh, oh, man. uh, some of the, the, uh, numbers were kind of a, a change near the end. I, I kind of just shoved some numbers in and we, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> the baller shoved, yeah, really... it, baller shoved it in without really knowing what he was in for and now he has no idea what's going to happen next. Here, okay. I had to do some last minute balance tweaks just because of the shank skin enemy. Oh yeah. Like balance tweaks to the player just because of this one stupid thing. Also the shank skin, they have a move that I'm kind of proud of adding, but I'm not sure if they'll do it. Just, er, no, not the shank. The sh shin shank, I think it's called. Uh, it, I believe it's shank shin. <laughs> shank shin, no. oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. Shank what is shin, the name, I, anyway? Is I thought it was really skin good. shank. No, it's shank shin. Because <laughs> it has legs that are like shanks, yeah? Yes? Like shanking it's someone? The, uh, okay, look, it's the shank shin redemption. Oh, oh. Art card. <laughs> so are they? Meat shield, regenerator, careless, careless movement. That sounds very uh, non uh, smart to do. <laughs> I didn't uh, find any skill called strafe. I heard you mention. Oh legs. no, it's in legs. It's in legs. Oh, it's, it's in legs. legs. Because you move uh, with your legs. Yeah. Well, I, I, but I am on legs <laughs> now, and if I do special, no, I don't have. Part. Oh shoot! Uh, never mind. I forgot this is. What, did you change it? Oh wait, no, oh, you're, you're on, you're on torso right now. On torso, I am yes. on torso, okay, so that's probably why. Okay, I'm torso gonna... Uh, 
I'm gonna special meat shield because I can. And uh Yeah, useful. meat shield is pretty useful. You know. Straff, okay. All so allies. Sure. Okay. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty complex and it's not very intuitive, so you guys oh, really we'll need to... to it. We'll get used to yeah, it. Sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll try to explain more. <laughs> <laughs> this is the god hand of RPG Maker games. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I see. So what you're doing is you're now you're circling Except... around them. Oh yeah, yeah, legs are skewered through. That's the skill I'm proud of. Yeah. It makes it so you can't. It makes it so you can't straight. In addition to, to making the limb unusable. Shoot. Left arm shoots. 111 damage. Anyway, um, if he keeps uh, shoot, skewing your um, your legs, you eventually get a special ending, wherein you're just put in a wheelchair and you live out the rest of your life in an old person's home. <laughs> Really? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's the best ending. Yes, actually, yes. I forgot we put that in at the last minute. That's yeah. why we put the last 24 hours in. <laughs> I can't believe we made it. <laughs> so how easy was to make the... the uh, how easy was to put the game together? I heard some stories from Headpats earlier on that uh, oh. there were like some mishaps and you did like all-nighters trying to finish this. Yeah. He oh, yeah. was up for 30 fucking hours! <laughs> That's rare, please. The thing is, um, we started, we, we kind of started with uh, going very easy. Like it was only me and Snake doing, doing most of the work at the start and towards oh, yeah, the that... end um, people really started uh, coming together and we really started working as a team and it was amazing. Like everyone was so passionate about it and towards the last few days we were really doing all nighters, um, doing our best to finish the game. Right to the last hour we were fixing fatal bugs and uh, it was really Screaming tiring. But it was a, yeah, it was a great experience. I, I oh, absolutely yeah. fell in love with these, with these people and I want to make more games with them. I love you guys too. We did the best we could, and you know what? We we made the best. <laughs> so that's a bit hot. Sanction emerged. That sucks. Uh, uh, special mysterious attack. Yeah, that basically it's a. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Generator, sure. And strap. Oh, oh, right. Always do the strap. Generator. That reminds me, but in, I mentioned I had to do a last minute balance patch. I was going to up the regenerator and the greater skills, HP and stamina re regeneration, but I forgot, so that's a bit underpowered. I apologize. It's... Can you use it out of battle? Hmm. Well, no, because they heal gradually over a couple turns. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, so. I'll be right back. I was looking at chat here, and it says, uh, Piano TM says, this looks like if you did a noir style of Fallout. I I'd say it's more inspired by um, Stalker, which is Call of uh, Pripyat, uh, and such, as well as uh, uh, Silent Hill 2. Oh, yeah, great thing. I love him. Mm. It was a funny thing when we were when when I was making um, the enemy designs, um, Snake was telling me what his ideas were, and I just started drawing, and it worked so well together. Like what I did was exactly how he had imagined it, and I think everyone in this team more or less um, just fit perfectly together with, with each other. Yeah, we were just. Uh, uh, some some guys who met on who, who met online, and uh, I'm really glad. Yeah, to we all met because of this one RPG Maker game, and yeah. So uh, did you guys um, know each other before? Uh, no. Okay. Um, we, we've, we've known each other for about I think two or three months. We met uh, online because of this game, right? Well, not because of this game. There, yeah. He means there was there was another RPG Maker game. Let me explain. It's called. Um, Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, there was one character in this game that was good, and the rest of it was just indescribable, endless trash. So, <laughs> so we, oh, we this, this game was discovered, and it has kind of become um, a, a cult classic in a weird way. 
it's it's so bad, but there's this one character in it who <laughs> all of us love because um, it's a really well written character, and it's and, uh, this, this person is portrayed like like completely evil in the game because of it, when it's in reality yeah, she's the only likable one. Yeah, she's like the only one that's rational that calls out like the Mary Sue main character on her bullshit. For that, she's like thrown to the ground, and it turns into this almost like class warfare struggle. What's the name of the that. game that you guys are talking about? Uh, it's called Uncommon Time. It's okay. it's really not good, but <laughs> this one character makes it worth it in all ways. Yeah, it's it's, oh, it's yeah. like this. What I'm what I notice is a lot of games um, when they are almost good, but not quite, and then somehow turn horrible. A lot of people feel passionate about it in a kind of negative way. Definitely negative. But in our case, we just um, well, we wanted to make to make something better, and came together. And this was one of the results of it, I guess. It inspired us in a weird way. Okay, but let me try to heal up. Uh, won't the uh, fighting get a bit repetitive though, when you have to do so many selections? Did you guys think about like? Uh... Uh, what's it called? A tactics selector or builder kind of thing? Uh, yeah, you mean like kind of like macros from Fantasy Star 4, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we considered it, but it, it just didn't yeah. make the chop. Because I think there, after... there's a lot of stuff that didn't make the chop. Like, we were gonna have this enemy that was this. It was this wooden tool with worms on it. Yeah. And like this... we were so excited. Yeah, we ran out of time. Like, like this enemy we are fighting right now, the Shankshin is this weird kind of um, spirit, and these spirits are like, um, I guess, living ideas who look like trash put together. And we wanted this one enemy, which is a wooden pole, which is covered in worms. And I had the idea to make it look like, um, like a virus, like a gigantic virus. Mm. And uh, we ran, we ran out of time, unfortunately. My right we arm also... just died. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh yeah, that's what the revive skill is for. Oh, yeah. yeah, also, uh, I guess uh, tissue restorate. Tissue restorate, make sure to use that. You can use your left arm to use items, so... Left arm and right arm, use items. Uh, ah, okay, I can only use it on the left arm, okay. Wait, how much health? Yeah, because uh, your right arm's dead. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Uh, tissue restorate. How much? Okay. Left arm. And I guess I'll body slam him and kick him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the game is best when you're imagining sort of like, uh, you know, what the it actions. would look like for animations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can add up some pretty oh, ridiculous imagine. stuff, like a guy who's simultaneously shooting, body slamming, and kicking whilst uh, doing drugs. Ideal man. Honestly, I think the shank skin or whatever, whatever it's called, <laughs> we should have been nerfed a lot. We, we've, I've played some of the against some of the other enemies. They're much more fun. Than this guy, yeah. I like the designs. Just I think his one skill is triggered a bit too much. Did yeah, I have to agree. I, I think he sh his health should have been lowered, so he would have been a boost glass his cannon. Boosts health or something. Yeah, Why is he yeah that, that's not what he was. I would have said to, to about a hundred. August survived. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know how to progress the storyline. I'm not supposed to go back. Oh. Uh, oh well, yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Just go back. There's there uh, like another three. door that you missed. Yeah. Yeah, just go down. Go down to the left, I think, right? Yeah. Another shank skin. I am so sorry. We're so sorry. <laughs> Gets better after this. After you kill a lot of shank skins, it go it uh, it starts to grow on you. No, sh no, no, shank skins are mostly just in this one area. Then they don't show up. You get out of this small area. There's not really much shank skins. Enemies. The thing is, um, you will get used to the gameplay in a, after a while, and you will start um, developing your own tactics. Like what I did when playing this was, I always used two weapons, two guns, and I. Um, I try to overwhelm the enemies right at the start and then um, use support abilities to, I don't know, uh, stay healthy. You, you're gonna find a happy merchant soon. He'll have a lot of stuff. Yeah. 
Okay, one hit. He dead. Okay. So yeah. I don't have any anyway, more shank skins. Uh, not when you're on the roofs. I think there might be one uh, near the merchant, but that's after you get through the wreckage, eh, brother? Okay, is this the door that I'm supposed to go in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so. yep. That's the roof door. It's the door. Anyway. Yeah. I expect that you'll be in the wreckage soon, brother. Uh, I should probably use items to recover my health now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, you have to use. <laughs> this is you entirely items uh, head on Pat's fault, by the way. Uh, yes. Okay, because I added I added the dual wielding functionality at the very last minute that required adding in a bunch of plugins, and yeah, for whatever reason, the items. Now they only work in combat. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, it worked now. I used morale pills and I, I managed to recover oh, health. It works? Oh, what, what it works! works. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's oh, a relief. That's a relief. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we don't really know how the game works ourselves, to be honest. Yes, this, I'm okay. This, this feels so much more rewarding than finding bugs in games is uh, checking that reported bugs don't actually work as reported. <laughs> Our bugs are bugged. <laughs> it's a feature. It's a feature. <laughs> Our game is... Oh, Jesus. Oh. Special regenerator, I guess. Um, yeah. Great trade um, is also not not bad, I think. Um, it, yeah. it attacks four times, so if you are against many enemies, it can maybe uh, pay out well if you, if you use it. Just make sure yeah, you are, it attacks. Yeah, enemies. make sure you're bracing your 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 weapon arm. Force with healing, steadying the weapon, left arm fires. 380. Okay. And the other one does nothing. Um, okay. Guard. Oh, nice. Shoot. <laughs> guard. 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 What do you think of the music? I think it's a bit repetitive, but it's good. It fits, but it, it gets a bit repetitive after a while. Sorry about that. Uh, we planned on uh, reducing the encounter rate, but we ran out of time. That would have helped with it, I feel. Yeah, the encounter rate feels a bit high. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. We will remember it for uh, version 2.0. <laughs> oh man, everything is 2.0. Yeah, kind of. Uh, we'll make the game version 2.0. Yeah. But are, are you guys planning to keep working on the game? Are yes. You? Oh, yeah. hell fucking yeah. yeah. <laughs> we Whether we win or not, we'll keep working on it. We'll probably keep working on it after a short rest period. Yes. Yeah. Uh, My torso started bleeding. That's usually yeah. not good. No, no. Yeah, you there, head, that's right? the to, um, that's like cure skills for. Yeah. You have a cu you have a cure ability on the head, so try that out. But I think oh I think your head might be out of stamina. Out of power. Yeah, okay, it is. So I, I use one of the this. items. I use the tissue restore. Well, this works also, but you have um, this this um, alcoholic beverage called Brimshine, and it uh, restores stamina. So you could uh, have used it on the head, for example. Okay, I will ones. try that uh, okay. with my right arm, I guess. Brimshine, yes. One thing I should mention is that the torso, it has the, this, I guess I'll call it free ability called breather and. Essentially, it cancels out strafing, but it will regenerate your stamina because you're not running. So yeah, make use of it. I make heavy use of this when playing. Okay, I'll I'd say our, some health. our mechanics are a little bit deeper than what you normally get in an RPG. Maker. Also, a little harder to understand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a bit clunky. Yeah, but, uh, a lot of it, a lot yeah, it has to do with the interface. We yeah. we push the end into its limits, basically. Oh man, you would some of like some uh, how of much how much did you have to rescript to uh, oh, change yeah. like the combat system oh, and that kind of stuff? Man. <laughs> did uh, you redo a whole combat system from scratch? Uh, no, uh, no, believe no, it or not, no, believe it or not, how I managed. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go on. Well, okay. we had uh, the... no, no, I interrupt. For the... 
Okay, so for the combat system, we did have to use quite a few plugins, a lot, and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff the RPG Maker, well, the skills don't want you to play around with certain stats. So essentially, most of the most of the skills trigger states of some sort, and there's a decent amount of use of common events related to abilities. And yeah, I mess with that a lot. Yeah, like. It's almost like Skyrim modding, adding stuff to it. <laughs> There's a ladder there, on the left, which oh, uh, might be a bit hard to open. Can why, can he, why can he open the chest? It's like 10 feet down. So. There's a ladder. Because it just leads over the edge. Because I <laughs> can. <laughs> 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 10 feet long? <laughs> he, he just needs to collect every penny. He just leads over the ed goddamn edge and just pulls that up. <laughs> Where's the ladder on the left? Um, which is kind of hard to see, which I didn't like, but we couldn't change it. I kind of forgot to mention it. Okay, let's see if I can find the ladder. Yeah, these guys have way too much health. Cause, uh, I mean, it gets boring after a while if you keep doing the same stuff. So either the combat would have to be like more automated somehow, or you would need to have less encounters to make it like more meaningful. Each encounter mm -hmm. that you have feel more like a special thing that you have to really think, otherwise you, if you die, agree. It, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're go. completely screwed. Agree. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, it's not like we have an especially high encounter rate compared to the other ones. Uh... It could be longer than it should have been. I feel that as well. I almost feel like somehow some sort of glitch happened. Uh, I don't know. Okay. It could just be luck. Oh, oh this luck. this is a ladder. Okay, yeah, that ladder doesn't look like a ladder at all. And now I have another encounter. And there is, like, no escape. It would be nice if you had, like, an escape option. If you just, like, try to avoid the encounters. I think the backup button does. Does the backup button take you to the escape menu when you go back? I think it just doesn't display it by default. That's for some reason. I'm pretty sure. Oh that yeah, I've it used does. The, it does. I've used oh. the escape. Shoot. You just yeah, have to press. You just have to press escape to escape. Is it a oh, feature? Shoot. We sh we should mention <laughs> here. I'll mention I don't it know on why. the games page. I'll edit it. Just clear that up for people. Yes. Yes. Also, this just immediately also, made the gameplay so much better. Our, our yeah. Yes. Happy little accidents. <laughs> Ocean Once again, songs. our bugs are bugged. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, uh, I think that you're you're walking. Just like, can you turn on dashing? Or did we... Yeah, yeah here, dashing we... was on by default. I, I don't know what happened. Like, it was oh, there right up until... So crazy. Oh, That's I because I deleted all the save files before we pushed it, so... I think it cost... Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to turn on dash from the main menu. There's also gamepad and keyboard configuration options if you really want the... Okay. Uh, that yeah. is like oh, locked this immediately fuck. into the into the fight. Ugh. Shoot. Yeah, you with missed, this you guy. missed all my scripting. <laughs> it had a cuckoo clock. Yeah, the enemy has a cuckoo clock which wakes him up and uh, you can kind of sneak around but uh, I always triggered him somehow. Well, that's because uh, you mentioned his way it triggered it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, always. Uh, what should I cure? Uh, left arm, probably. I needed to shoot. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, spray. And now I'm, the other one should stabilize. And the legs should. Well, this one's gonna do nothing. This one is going to strafe. Because it looks cool when it does 3D stuff. 
We could have done so much more with the strafe battle back thing, but we quite literally added those backgrounds in, I think it was the last day or two. It kept not uh, Let me explain, it was the last, technically it was the last day, and the reason for that is because I passed out around um, 12 or 1 o'clock the previous day, and I woke up at 2, drank an energy drink, and I stayed up for 30 hours. So technically it was the last day, even though it was the last <laughs> night. <laughs> I'll remember your second life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Goddamn our attack. Anyway, basically, uh, what we did is the backgrounds are all renders using uh, textures that were based off the tiles that dust there made. Mm -hmm. uh, then we proceeded to load them into Blender or another 3D program would work. Uh, made a, I made a cube. I could have made so much more detail. Headpats, you have the right to uh, shame me for ruining your baby on this. But. <laughs> Oh, but basically, did I didn't. Oh, Go this on. thing it triggered again, didn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm yeah, fighting the same un unescapable this character. Is can you escape? He, I he can't. Just not move. He he does not have. move afterwards. Just wait a second until the clock starts uh, ringing. Yeah, okay. I guess to fix this later. But yeah, he was initially that this guy. He's um, he had a whole plot room. He was a, this um. This failure of a son of a really famous war hero, and he was um, really lazy and was just constantly drinking. And now he's um, he's just some 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 guard in a backwater station somewhere, and he's you, constantly. Um, you, just you have all this background text yeah. that you don't really see <laughs> on the uh, on the game. We ran out well, of time. Deepest lore. Yeah, we ran we ran out of time. Snake was. Suffering from food poisoning, his kitchen flooded in the last hour. He had a oh, my stove broke. My stove broke. The first week and was never repaired. Excuses, yeah, all excuses. <laughs> no, all of these actually happened. Maybe it's oh yeah, I got I got a hemorrhoid for the last for the last week or so. I I haven't I have not sat for several days. Like, here, I, I kneeled for a little while until my knees gave out, and right now I'm laying on my side. I've been doing this for a couple days. It's... Yeah, reprise for our game dev. Game dev. Yeah, we have a game now. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys, seriously. No, you have to make some sacrifices if you want to deliver on time. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, just die. Oh. Maybe I run out of bullets. No, we can't run out of bullets. Because it takes no damage, it does like... This is the wider brim. This is the wider brim. He, okay, so now I do nothing. It. I just wait. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, now don't, don't move. move. I'm not moving. Hey, wait until you don't hear the cuckoo clock anymore. Whatever. Hey, you don't hear anything? I still hear it. Should be able... well, How many you seconds is it? Able... No, it's not. It's not um, ringing anymore. It's still ah. ticking, but it's not ringing anymore. So it doesn't yeah. now. Okay, so I can move now. Yes. Yeah, you should be able to move. It's kind of clunky, we admit. Sorry for this. And there's a dead guy. Oh, well, that's the guy you shot. Oh, okay. That makes sense. If it stayed for a moment before moving, you would have seen how he wakes up when the clock is ringing. Ah, but, okay. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> Very unintuitive. I, I, I think you guys need more text saying what's happening. Like, uh, yeah. Some yeah. absolutely obvious text. Well, yeah, no, we okay, I I, th I think that's it for this game. Uh, thank you guys for for uh, joining the stream, for making the game. <laughs> you obviously yeah. took a lot of work what? and uh, concepts. I, I see a lot. I see a lot more concept in this game than actual uh, polished gameplay. Probably because you guys spent so much out of time. But uh, it's definitely different, and that's always a good thing. Yeah, we try to make something yeah. very different. That was my base idea. 
Thank Honestly, the lighter me. areas of the game are much better, which is pretty backwards for this kind of contest. Yeah, kind of is. Okay, know, so thank you guys for there. joining the call and the stream. Uh, thank you for participating on the, the game itself. I hope you guys you had fun. <laughs> thank you. Uh, it was definitely an experience playing it, so uh, not many games leave you with that. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. So, thanks. Thanks okay. for having us. Yeah, thank, thank you for playing. Bye bye, thanks take care. Have a good See day. Okay, so that was the Toten Maske. That was very interesting. Uh, I I I don't know if it's playable yet. I think you should definitely they the guys should definitely make a final version uh, of it. Uh, I'm trying to show. Oh, because I got rid of the window capture. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me fix stuff so you guys can see my screen again. Uh, should be fixed now, I think, I hope. If I push this to the sides. Oh, it's, my screen is too big. And now it disappeared. That's 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 not good. How did I manage to okay. Hold on, real time fixing. Uh window capture is fine. I need to add uh, this display capture again yes okay here we go much better so IGMC logo goes back up here my cam goes back there and we're back as we were in the beginning it's got a little bit here so I think we should still check out one more game uh, we still have 15 people on the stream uh, we had another request while we were streaming, which was, let me find the game, uh, was from QCon, was called uh, Yo Yomoto. So let's check that out. Uh, let's see if he's uh, uh, around and wanting to join. Uh, well, I download 200 megs, and this is probably the last game we'll check today. Uh, we'll probably do the stream again, maybe tomorrow. Uh, not sure if I will have time tomorrow, but I would definitely want to do a few more streams, at least one more, to show a few other games. Uh, okay, so Q1 is around, so I'm going to call him, see if he can join us. And meanwhile, I'm going to open up Yomoto. Yeah, I, he'd rather just chat because he's not uh, native English. Well, uh, well, as you prefer, Qcon, but uh, I mean, would be better if you were on the call uh, and try to speak, even if you can't. But if you prefer not to, I'm not going to force you. So it's up to you. So, this is Yomo 2, or I don't think it's... Let me fix this. Uh, hide this. Yes. Okay, so Yomo 2. Let's go for a new ride. Uh, the sound is too loud, I need to fix that. Excuse me, mister. That's right, I'm a girl. Uh, I'm gonna be a girl, just a bit different. Alright, my apologies. I'm PS, obviously. I see. I'm here to inform you that we took a little detour from the original destination. Our next stop being hell. Ha 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 ha. Mischievous laughter. Oh, graphics look nice. Uh, I guess I should wake up. So, QCon, tell us a little bit about the game. Or are these graphics uh, stock footage? Or uh, are they original? Let me take a quick look. 
Okay, I was checking for the description of the game, but it only says before you know it, you're in hell. So it doesn't have any description. Where are your parents? Quite late for a girl your age, don't you think? Uh, inspired by SMT, but of course in a closed environment. Oh, they're, the tiles are public from a Japanese artist. They look very good. Oh, and she joined the party. Is she the devil? And there's a link to the game for the guys who want to check it. Uh, there's a arrow pointing there. You can go right. Stuck with the uh, ticket man, I guess. Excuse me. Oi, it's a zombie. Uh, don't let the zombie catch you. Don't let the zombie catch the girl either. Do I have to fight him? Guess I'll fight the zombie. Uh, skills! I can scorch him. Bam! 20 hit. Oh, he poisoned me. Welcome back, NG4K. We're checking out Yomotsu by Yukon, who is here in the chat. Did he die? From the flames? Okay. I can make fire? That's strange. Oh, it's uh, someone in the chest. It's Chester. Hello, Chester. I'm going to hell. I'm not dead, I'm alive. I'm streaming. Take a seat and enjoy the rest of the ride. Necromancer. Yeah, I have to kill more zombies off, probably. Not my problem. Okay, so now I have a zombie. Uh, my party. Escape or right click to access the menu. Okay, let's check out the menu. Increase standard. I wanted to decrease the volume a little bit so you guys don't hear it as loud. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll leave Mark as he is. What about the girl? Can I do anything with the girl? I bet she's like the exorcist girl. There's a wisp. Oh, it's the necromancer. I guess I should hit the necromancer, not yet dead. Vile spirit. It just does poison. Okay. So I think I will 
arch both. And poison both. Well, the graphics look really good. And the storyline seems pretty nice as well so far. Poisoning me. Okay, what's that? What's that? Oh, my well, dad just died. Oh, he used it to recover. Ah, oh, that's sneaky. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, this looks pretty good. So, well, what do you guys on the chat think of the game? Well, I like it so far. Killed the Necromancer. It has plot. It has nice graphics. It has fitting music. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> Best game ever. Are you Japanese, Qcon? It it feels very Japanese in the the game somehow. Ah, okay. Managed to get to the mechanist, you could inform him of your unfortunate situation, then we'll helpfully pull the brake set for a moment just for you so you can leave safely, okay? Yeah, I don't want to get to hell. Yeah. I'm a girl. So where can I find him? Obviously, the first cart. Thank you for your assistance. And I guess there are enemies. Should I take the girl with me? So, why did we have the girl introduced as a character if she's not coming with me? Hmm. I can go back, there's nothing here. And then I can go forward. Oh, I should save. Okay. Bing. I guess there's a boss coming up. Looks like a boss. I set him on fire. Oh, that was easy. It was a fake boss. Don't we join the party? She's like the exorcist kid, isn't she? Nope. I'm happy with my current formation. I don't understand why it. Uh... Oh, I can learn stuff. Okay. Uh... I probably should get heal. And cure. Can I get them all? 
should be... Where are my skill points? Oh, on the bottom right, okay. Uh, spark, sure. User enters a state of implementation, recovers HP and MP over time at an accelerated rate. So if I want my mana back, I will need that. Oh, I don't want to sacrifice anyone. I'm a nice person. I'll sacrifice teammates. Okay, should have enough to sustain myself. Uh, escape, I guess. Interesting. I can set my party skills. Oh, nice. And Bane. Bane already has his all filled up. Yeah, the game looks pretty good so far. I uh, should probably have saved in another slot, but well, too late now. Let's keep going. One more fight. Eternal Banishment. Where's, where's Bane? Why isn't Bane here? Can only have two at the at a time, maybe. Uh, Strike poisonous claws. Does nothing. No damage. Ow! Heal myself. So I can switch with Bane probably. And I should probably heal myself again before I'm dead. Okay, let's switch with Bane then. See if Bane is any better. Skill Icicle, sure, let's try it. Eighteen, and he's freezing. That worked. Twenty. Twenty this far. Bane is dead. You cannot kill what is already dead. <laughs> I can switch him though. Come on, no damage. Still alive. Okay. What? Still alive? Oh, come on. That was so close. When I retry, do I go from save point or from. Oh, I just match. Okay, that's good. Okay, one more try. Uh, skill, scorch. Physical attacks don't really hurt the Lich, by some reason. Lich became immortal, okay. So, how do I kill something that is immortal? Um, can I dispel him? Ah, okay. 
Sneaky, sneaky. Nice. Well, I like that it's not like uh, completely straightforward fighting. You have to pay attention and uh, use your skills wisely. So that's positive. Let's check out the next room. One more fight. I love the graphics. They're like very... They fit well together. They're like not forced or out of place. Oh yeah, cannibalize learned. Nice. I guess I should... Oh, and I have now one more... One more... Well, what do I call these? Spirits? One more helping spirit? What you doing? Yeah, I like the game. It's pretty good. I will probably keep playing it after the stream. So Kyoko, how, like, what's what's the length of the game? How many uh, play hours uh, does it have, or how many rooms? Oh, okay. Cool. Where is the number of the car? I don't see the number anywhere, so I don't know what car I'm in. Oh, yes, shop. When you change map, okay, I will pay more attention. Mm, I don't think I need to buy anything right now. Well, clearly, if I buy stuff, it's better. I think I'm gonna save here, and this needs proper thinking. So, I think that's it for this game. And from the stream, I think I'm pretty much done, unless there's like a one uh there's any last minute requests from anyone who is on the chat and would like me to check their game now i guess i could do one more but i'm getting a bit tired as well so i think it's good enough that we leave it at this i did save right let me save again just in case so thank you kyokon for for making the game it's pretty good i i really like it honestly um so exit to the title. And the uh, starting screen is so, like, simple. Uh, the next stream, I'll probably do it tomorrow. Um, I can't put my hands on fire over it because I have to check what other stuff I could possibly have to do. But it will probably be tomorrow, same hour. I'll announce it on uh, the Discord again and on Twitch using the hashtag IGMC. 2017 and if there is anyone who would like me to play their game I, I can do that tomorrow uh, NJ4K I could try that uh, so 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 yeah uh, I'll, I'll save it already so I have the link so the end prologue I'll put it on my to-do list, which you don't see on screen. So this is the first game that we'll do tomorrow. If you want to uh, be on the stream and talk a little bit about your game, just uh, ping me on... Uh, uh, wrong button. Just ping me on um, on Discord. And uh, yeah, and we'll set it up. It would be cool. Okay, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the live stream. I was a bit weary if you, we would have any people. Uh, we had like 20 viewers. I think that's uh, good enough. And uh, the whole stream will be available on uh, YouTube afterwards. I uh, have to figure out what name I should give it. Probably uh, checking out games from my GMC 2017, I guess. So, so yeah. 
So see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Enjoy the games from IGMC.